Ooh. Welcome! <laughs> to, we kind of did it to the Beer Buds live from China where the coronavirus is taking place. We're drinking Coronas to make sure that we survive in some Modelos and some Pacificos. We'll be trying some Mexican style beers. I uh, want to give a shout out. Someone asked me to give him a shout out to Timothy Dick oh. or Brent. Uh, I don't know where the fuck he lives. He doesn't want to meet up with me, but he lives near here. Oh, I, oh, I know who he is. <laughs> Pretty dumb, dude. Yeah, I do. He's from uh, the Rusty Monk, maybe. Oh, shit. Maybe. Nah, no, nah, he's not. No? <laughs> no, nah, it's some dude I know online. <laughs> oh, he said he's pretty dude. He said he's pretty pretty fat now. That's why he doesn't what? want to meet up. Yeah. Uh, he used to be like a little skinny white boy in high school and shit. Oh, you knew him in high school? I didn't know him. He's some dude like, online. Oh. It's just from a like, gay Discord chat, that man, you know? Oh, I nice. was about to say. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, your wife's been gone a little bit too long. <laughs> oh, yeah. Meeting uh, guys in chat rooms. Anyways, <laughs> we're in China, so we're taking this seriously today. This is a serious Beer Buds podcast episode. We are in China. Dan, you need to get close. We're getting cut off, man. Yeah, we're getting cut off. Getting cut off? Yeah, the Oh, from, is oh from China. Yeah, we're straight in China. pretty good. Yeah, right there. Let me <laughs> there you go. Um, no, you're cut off. <laughs> no, I'm good. See, I'm no, good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> you gotta get rid of Dude, we're too tight. We're like. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. This is like the closest we've yeah. ever been to each other. It's kind of weird. It looks kind of weird on But, that. anyways, this is again the Beer Buds. Good, though. <laughs> season 2. I kind of wish it was a little lower. Five? Episode 5, yeah. Uh, this is Beer Buds Carlos. Beer Buds Michael. Beer Buds Daniel. Dan, I thought you were going to do wow. Daniel. Yeah, yeah, I thought you were going to do OG Dan. I was like, <laughs> he's going to say it. Hmm. But yeah, like I mentioned, we're going to be doing uh, some Mexican beers. Just going to try to build up that immune system before we go and travel internationally. We're going to be on a plane, as you can see uh, here. Boom! We're going to be in first Woo! class. We're going to be balling, <laughs> drinking some. I mean, I guess we're going to be drinking. I don't know what the hell we're going to be drinking. Irish. I, f- I figured we were going to take a, a couple of beers before we get on the plane, man. Dude, we can't. We're going to the airport bar. What do you mean we can't? You can. Oh yeah, we're gonna drink at the bar, but you can't yeah. take beers on the. You could drink beers that were salty that on the salty, plane. Yeah, yeah but no, but we'll drink beer. Before. And then we'll drink some Irish whiskey on, on board. Right? I'm down with that. Fuck oh, wow. yeah! So essentially, we're gonna be alcoholics. Here some Conor trip. McGregor. We are gonna be cool. doing good episodes, though. I hope so. Over the trip, we're gonna be recording a bunch. I like. Uh, I'd say at least three episodes probably during our trip, right? I would say at least three. Yeah, because yeah. we have the Guinness Storehouse. We're gonna have the Quack Brewery. Um, right and then I don't know what else we're and then we're gonna have an episode when they don't let us back into the US cause we have the coronavirus yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's gonna be that big a deal I don't think so either yeah. my doctor was he's, like he's, he's stressing out he's, he's getting frantic <sighs> about it a <laughs> little bit stressed out I'm a yeah. little bit stressed out but not too much no, I was, <laughs> cause I, was, I feel like it'll ruin the trip if you like yeah. stress out too much about yeah. it oh yeah cause then you're like Fuck. or even if they see us and we, we have an American accent they're gonna be like they might like look at us weird and shit. But it's already in Ireland though. Oh, the is it too? Yeah. Great. So it's everywhere. Oh shit, we gotta go back to China though. This is a different <laughs> fucking location. What's our China? All right, we're back in China again. Sorry about that. What's our China? <laughs> <laughs> the people listening are gonna be like, what? Well, all right. For those listening on Spotify or on any podcast platform, it's because we're live streaming this on YouTube. You want to see it? Check it out on YouTube afterwards when you listen to the podcast. You'll see what we're talking about. We got a cool little like. Not green screen, sorry. We are fishing in China at the moment. Yeah. Well, Just Dan, it out, Dan is a little bit in China and kind of not. Yeah, we set up a table in the middle of the street. We set up a table in the middle of the street over here. Oh, this is the cutoff right here. Yeah, yeah that's why. Yeah. <laughs> that's, why that's why I got a hug real close, dude. It cuts off. We just got to pretend that we're sitting in a fucking economy class and that's how close (laughs) we're going to be. Oh, clarification. I know we just started the episode, but I do have to clarify. I I know we mentioned on Instagram there was supposed to be a Kirkland beer episode. We're supposed to have a special guest, Mr. Japoy Poy, Jeffrey Herrera. He wouldn't have fit. What do you call him, Japoy Poy? That's his online league name, username. Oh, I People thought it was like a racist slang. Nah. I was like, it's like, fuck, Carlos. No, nah. I don't know why the fuck he calls himself Jopoy Boy. He also calls himself Jajau Jao. Yeah, he has a lot of nicknames. Right Jopoison. Yeah, he has what? a lot of nicknames. Um, but he couldn't come today. Well, it's not that he couldn't come. Kirkland Beer, this is official what they told me when I called mm-hmm. him on the phone. One of the places I like, yeah, we no longer, like, we deactivated the Kirkland Beer. And I was confused. Like, deactivate is almost like you're turning something off. So, like, yeah. you killed it all. Like, if it's a fucking beer. So, I guess it's discontinued. I think That's so. it. Yeah. It's a discontinued. So, they, you can no longer buy Kirkland beer at Costco. And we really That's wanted so to review it. I know. I wanted to review it, too. Because <laughs> they, they knew it was shitty, dude. I mean, we've always talked a bunch of shit. We never actually officially reviewed it. <laughs> but 
We always thought it was super shitty beer. I think, and I think they realized it was shitty beer, I too. I think the head brewmaster of Kirkland heard the episode. <laughs> <laughs> cut this shit. Cut this shit. Because <laughs> we did hashtag, like, hashtag Kirkland a bunch yeah. of times. Did we? At least I did. Yeah, call us oh. Every man. episode I talk shit about Kirkland beer, yeah. I put hashtag Kirkland. <laughs> really? I hope, That's I so hope they, they, they look at it at some point. <laughs> I mean, we talk shit about Golden Rule. We talk shit about a bunch of breweries. Yeah. And some of these breweries have liked it, and I know they didn't listen to the episode. They have liked they, it? Yeah. And if they do they end up even, listening to yeah. the episode, and they see, like, oh, shit, they said our beer was shitty or our place is shitty, mm-hmm. they won't, like, yeah, they won't sponsor us. If we ever get big, we will never get sponsored by live breweries. But I think if the brewery has a good sense of humor, they'll be like, all right, we fucked up. Let's yeah. have you back on, and you try it again. Yeah, yeah. We got to improve. We're sorry it tasted like bucket water IPA. They're like, just sponsor these three idiots. Yeah. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Honestly, we're never going to get sponsored. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. one's going to fuck you on a sponsor. Three a China episode. Three Mexicans. On a <laughs> <laughs> I knew Carl said that shit on purpose. <laughs> That's how you look, dude. But yeah. Um, if you guys are wondering, by the way, what we're drinking right now, we decided to drink a little bit of Quack. A really good beer. Shout out to Beer Buds Daniel. Yeah, he brought Quark. it. Where did so you buy bad. it, by the way? Oh, you said uh, Ramirez Liquor, right? Yeah. yeah. They have that. They have, uh, like, basically all the good beers that we like from Rusty Yeah. Bar. Oh, wow. Yeah. But this is the traditional Belgian special ale. I love this. Well, they also call it, isn't it also a triple, technically? Uh, Belgian triple. Sure. I, remember, I remember it being a triple. Yeah. What so they call it special ale, but it's also a triple. I'm pretty sure. What do they call it there? Uh, They call it here a traditional Belgian special L. Special But it's a uh, Power Quark Full Body Belgian Specialty L. Amber in color. It won a gold medal World Beer Cup rated exceptional. Beverage Testing Institute Gold Medal European Beer Star. It is a really good beer. You guys should try to get it on tap if you can. Super so good. A good place to get it is actually the Rusty Mark. They do mm-hmm. have that on top and it's always fucking delicious. Where we're going to be after the stream too. Yeah, I'm going to get one from there. So I'm drinking it here and I'm going to get I just one want there. like two Bavarian pretzels for myself. Nice. Yeah. Like, yeah, Two? That's a lot, dude. I'm just gonna um, have that. That's my appetizer. And then I'm gonna get tacos from Los Carnales. Oh, Hashtag Los Carnales. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another thing is, my wife is currently in Canada right now. Oh. She's wearing a mask. I think she might have. Oh, for us? Yeah, she, I think is she, she might have gotten the She's wearing a mask? Yeah. Why is, is that, that's yeah, like an Asian skeptical. thing? Yeah, it is an Asian thing. <laughs> it's actually really dirty. I, I read like if you use it, you only use it once and you gotta throw it away. You don't use it again. Yeah, and then also Japanese you gotta people. you also gotta think about the way you put it on too. Yeah, really? and the way you take it oh, off. Yeah, because if your hands are infected and you use like, oh, that's a good point. So, like you don't want to use those cough masks. You shouldn't be using. No. If you're gonna use a mask, it has to be like the HEPA filter. The ones. HEPA filter yeah. one, yeah. And oh, never use like the cough like, patch ones. in the front. The cough ones are just like a bacteria fucking ridden. That's cough what, in your fa- on your face. That's what Asian people use. Yeah, they, they do. Oh, they do a lot. Yeah, because <laughs> I I don't know where I read it or where I saw it, but they're talking about that. But anyways, enough of fucking. Dude, it's corona. so crazy though that because like it already spread. Because like my sister's like, yeah, the coronavirus is here in New York because she works in New York. Yeah. And then my friend, he works for the Raiders, so he's in Oakland. He's like, the fucking coronavirus is in Berkeley. Whoa. So it's like it's crazy, and then like now we're here, and it's yeah. in the OC, and it's like fuck, it's like surrounding us. So, you, yeah, all right, we all know, and everybody knows that because of coronavirus, corona has actually gotten less cells. Like, not a shitload less cells, but they've been sending a little bit less compared to... Oh, yeah. yeah. They lost, like, $215 million or something. Yeah. Okay. It's not that much considering how much they make, but what's the percentage? I don't know. Whatever, but they did lose some business because of the whole... Like, thing. 5%, <laughs> 5%, I think. Yeah. So th- yeah, I was going to say it was 4%, but yeah. Um, but regarding that, too, like... When I was thinking about the coronavirus and all that shit, like it, I think it's kind of funny that I just think corona. people are stupid. And well, yeah, they are. But Modelo's <laughs> sales also went up, and really? vice versa oh, to shit. Corona. It's actually kind of funny, dude. I don't know. I think it's gonna be great. But um, again, we're doing Mexican beers. I don't know which ones we're gonna be starting with. What do you guys want to start with? Um, uh, I kind of wanted to say something. Did you guys end up trying uh, planning the older, elder, younger? Oh shit! Uh, I forgot we were yeah. gonna talk about that. Ah. Uh, yeah, come on, Carlos. You're the host of this podcast. Dun, 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 dun. All right, it's over. I'm out. Uh, I've been uh, decommissioned. Goodbye, guys. Carlos is out. Turn on the plane. I'm coming back from the Which is that? Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. I don't Control know what I'm doing. You got this, buddy. Oh, All right. there you go. We're, all right, we're back in the plane. We're going back to China now. All right, I fuck. Going back to China? 
Yeah. We just left China. <laughs> well, no, you guys left China to pick me up. Oh, okay. Because I left and now oh, I'm back. We're in the beer buds. And now we're flying. We're going to stay in the we have a beer buds <laughs> private jet. That would be pretty dude, good. Be no, crazy. that's. You guys are horrible, dude. Yeah. Like, Why? The, the environment. The environment? Man. Yeah. Oh, that's not so bad. It's yeah. electric power. It's stupid. <laughs> we'll get a this Tesla is... one. <laughs> <laughs> fucking electric power. It probably costs a lot to just fucking produce that shit, dude. It'll be a Tesla one, man. It'll be chill. No. Elon yeah. will be the pilot. No. Yeah. No. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It, I will say this if you're rich, it probably does suck being with like the plebs and like on a regular commercial airplane. The plebs? Yeah. yeah. Plebs means like lower caste individuals. Oh, what like plebeian. I only make four figures. You make eight. No, so. That's true. Eight <laughs> figures, baby. I'm gonna be going nine this year. Remember, I told you nine figures is this year. Oh god damn! Yeah, dude, oh, I'm gonna be balling. Yeah, man. That's nice, man. But they don't know how to make that money. We can't tell them. We keep that on the. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, Cartel. Oh, pedophile! Dude, I was like, did that in my. Bro, that's not a joke. I was thinking about that in my head. Is that what like, you're referring to? No, no, no. But I'm all like, huh. I that actually makes sense. Like, <laughs> I mean, it uh, doesn't make sense. But I was thinking, like, I wonder if one of these guys is going to say it. And you're like, pedophile, <laughs> you fucking bitch. No, not because I'm a pedophile. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Everybody, I swear, we are going to get canceled if people ever listen to the show enough. and we get We're going to get canceled good. because of Carlos. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, you guys decided to make a coronavirus episode. That wasn't me, man. I didn't do that. I mean... You did. Yeah, I, I told I, you to change it to Ireland. <laughs> and you're like, nah, let's do China. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that sounded just like Trump. Let's, try, let's do China. <laughs> yeah, that's true. China. Um, oh, yeah, so apply to the. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was on 10. Um, I love <clears> the Chinese people. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was I good. don't. <laughs> they got everybody sick right no, now. They're wonderful people to make the iPhones. Oh. <laughs> uh, Russia, if you don't know, Russian River Brewing is a very, uh, we did a bunch of episodes on Russian River Brewing, actually. We did? Yeah. Yeah, we, it's a joke. All right, we did a bunch of episodes. Just an honorary Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> we did a bunch of episodes on Russian River Brewing. I'm going to sit down, okay? All right, sit we down. did a bunch of episodes on Russian River Brewing. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting on the couch. Wait. Oh, yeah. And his yeah. shirt's though. That's tired, dude. I can't keep that up too long. I just worked out my legs yesterday. Um, and so, in... In those episodes, we did like Plague the Elder, Blind Pig. I think we did like probably about 12 of their beers. Yeah. Three of them? Three, three per episode. I think one episode. I think there was four. one of the four, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The three Russian River episodes. Then. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And so. That's good. Yeah. Uh, we were going to go get Plague the Younger, which is only made uh, two weeks out of the year in February. Uh, and they have it at the brewery. And when you go to a brewery, you can only get a maximum of two 10 ounce pours, I believe it was. I, or you could buy one bottle to go or two bottles. One or two. What? But it has to be at the brewery. Oh, yeah, the brewery. The brewery is only located in Santa Rosa, and the other one's in, like, somewhere else in NorCal. Yeah, I should have driven to North Santa Rosa. That's far, dude. Where is it? That's, like, is after it? San Francisco. That's, like, Lagunitas, too, right? No, I don't know. I don't know where they're located. I don't know if that's is. I'm feeling like it's um, But okay. they do sometimes send out special kegs. Special K, that's my favorite cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Special kegs to certain uh, brew pubs or gastro pubs. One of them is actually located near us here in Uptown Whittier, and it's called uh, the Bottle Room. We're supposed to go. Um, I didn't want to line up in the morning. Uh, I have a friend who has gone every year, and he's told us, like, in the message, he told us that every year they haven't run out until, like, closing time, or even sometimes the day after mm-hmm. they run out. So we're like, all right, cool. We'll show up like at 2 p.m. Two, yeah, I called you. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what you said. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. We didn't end up that's showing up said. at 2 p.m. Because our friend shows up at 7, right? Every year. Tony? Oh, uh, yeah, he goes at 7 a.m. He like, yeah. No, he, yeah, he lines up at 7 a.m. The place opens at 10 a.m. Uh-huh. So he's there waiting for like three hours for until the open, which is crazy. Yeah, what he does is he like, he puts the stroller in the line. He leaves his nice. kid there. Then and he rolls then out. He rolls out. He comes back. <laughs> yeah, that's my kid. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. Hey, look at him. That's, 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 that's me. He just doesn't have the goatee. And the <laughs> uh, but he left like at 1230 and he said they still had some. And so we were going to get there, go there at two. 
But I need, need to... We, I decided to pack some stuff because we're gonna go to our friends afterwards. Chapoy Poys, Jeffrey Herrera's place. Afterwards. No one calls him Chapoy Poys. Some people do. Some people do. He calls him. <laughs> Don't give him the benefit of the doubt, dude. <laughs> no, I know he doubt. does call himself that. I just wanted to stink. Just people call him. Jepoy I can't Poy wait to see Jeffrey today. I'm gonna give him so much shit. Uh, and then I'm gonna yell it when I see him. Be like, it's Chapoy Chapoy Poy. Let's see uh, if he gets nervous. <laughs> When he writes here or in public? No, in public. Oh, yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, 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 do that, do that. Yeah, yes, public. Yes, I'll record it. That's awesome, actually. Um, and then, so you you arrived, I think, like at 158 or something like that. And then we started packing. We left here like at 220. Dude, that's a good beer. And then we got there like it at 227. Good, huh? yes, yeah, it was good. Is good. I like the um, idea of us having stuff before we before have the show. Mm-hmm. It's helping. That's, yeah, it is. It's right? healthy? It's helping. Oh, helping. I heard helping. Because it kind of gets you in the mood of drinking instead of just like going straight off the bat. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's yeah. a nice. I'm not excited Lubricant. for any of this shit, by the way. I am. I'm not. I like this one, this one. Uh, I like all of them, Pacifico. actually. I'm actually, Pacifico's okay. No, yeah, so. thank you, Pacifico shit. I, I, well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see the reviews. But uh, yeah, we got there like at 225. When we got there, it tells us uh, we just tapped out. Because oh, you got there at 225. You're supposed to be there too. Yeah, I know. And then we were packing and shit. It is kind of my fault. I'm kind of sad. But when I checked the Instagram post, it was literally like two minutes ago. They posted on the Instagram that said, just tapped out. Uh, so oh, we didn't yeah. spend our time like packing. We should have just gone there first. And then come back. And then come oh, back. Yeah, because it's literally like five minutes away. But I had just mansion. assumed that they weren't going to run out because I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. Tony still got some at 1230. He said they didn't run out until closing time. And this year they ran out. Can't run out. So it could have been they only bought one keg this time because they never run out the mm-hmm. producers or some shit. I don't know. But I was kind of sad. So I didn't get to try it. However, people at the seller bottle shop because we went there afterwards to buy some beers, we're saying, well, the lady was telling us that some people were telling her, it's not like, it's just a little bit better than playing it under. It, mm. Older, it's not like that great. Like, it's too hyped up to be oh, like okay. that. And so when she, we were talking, Daniel tells me that the guys give me like a stink eye because <laughs> I'm like bringing down their almighty beer, Pliny the Younger. It's supposed to be like one of the greatest IPAs in the world. It could have been two things, I think, now that I'm thinking about it. Like, when Carlos was talking to the to the young lady oh, she was young yeah she was like telling was him like, my dick. I didn't try it did you guys <laughs> and then Carlos is like no we didn't get to and then she says like yeah why is my guys... voice so high <laughs> we didn't get to <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> we didn't oh, try it that's how it sounded okay cool dude <laughs> hey my name's Carlos <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it sounds like uh, the Quiznos subs oh yeah the Quiznos so subs the yeah. coupon works <laughs> Welcome to Beer Bars, episode four. <laughs> no, episode five. <laughs> we are. Oh yeah, that's awesome. All right, go but, on. Okay, so I I thought I these guys were just like looking at Carlos. Dude, stop texting fucking Timothy. No, it's not Timothy. Sliding to those DMs, dude. Fuck Timothy, Dick. Tim, Tim. Yeah, I mean, you did that last night. Oh. Because your wife comes tomorrow, so you just want to make sure you put in the shoes and shit. That's true. So you're saying? Oh Tim. yeah. So who's Timmy? <laughs> that's the guy that we you guys were talking about <laughs> in the beginning. I know. I don't know. I don't know. It was like a serious thing. Yeah, it's serious. Me and him, like, we've been talking about meeting up, but he always says no to me. Mm. He says he doesn't want to hang out with Mexican. He says I'm. I got a picture that you can show him. Oh no! (laughs) (laughs) He got two pictures. Actually, I will show him that picture. If he's winning, look at it. I'm gonna show that picture. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I think I we talked about it in the Bachelor Party episode. Yeah, it came out really? in the episode part two. Yeah, yeah. I listened to it. Yeah, I showed my asshole on the and Bachelor your wiener. Party. And my wiener. No! <laughs> no, dude! Don't dude. fucking show me on webcam! Dude, it's not... Live it's YouTube. like that small. Yeah, but we could get, like... We could <laughs> get <laughs> packed. We, we could get packed, <laughs> though. Dude, They're not oh gonna my. zoom into it. It's probably like you don't know. <laughs> what? What they got? Enhance, gonna, enhance. They can legit pause the video yeah. and be like, <laughs> "It's not him, guys." <laughs> did you actually show it? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe you showed my ass on live TV. I did. From that. China. Oh, we're not in China. We arrived in China now. Hold up. Where, where, where's China? All right, we're in China again. We should have done the Ireland one too. No, yeah, we should. Well, but we're not gonna be there till till the next mm-hmm. one. When we do the live, sh- oh, we can't do it. Wow. I don't have the green screen. I was are, you gonna, are you gonna take uh, your laptop to the? My laptop's too slow to record oh, okay. and do shit. I don't yeah, want to take, take my laptop. Else's. I'm not taking my laptop either. I don't yeah, want to do any expensive. work. I I, want, I don't even want to take my phone. It's too expensive. I haven't paid it off. Oh, yet. your laptop? Oh, your Mac. 
God, I guess I'll buy new. a new laptop. Oh, wait, expensive. do you have... Um, fuck. What? I don't know. I might buy a new laptop then, just so I can take him. Because my laptop's shit. Yeah, because my laptop's shit. My laptop, shit. My laptop can now record and do all this shit for us. Wait, we need a laptop to do... What? Put the order in, baby. Someone smells Maybe it's me. I think it's me. Uh, Maybe it's my baby. deodorant. Maybe you don't like yeah. the smell of my deodorant. My deodorant smells like... Coming back. It might be your shirt. Mm-hmm. It smells like timber with me. Mm-hmm. This is my deodorant smell. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah, that's me. I don't really like this shit though, because this shit doesn't last. Old Spice. Yeah, I know. It does. This it dissipates after a little bit. <laughs> the smell. Um, so maybe it is you. Yeah. Is it? Isn't deodorant like? Doesn't it have like alloys in there? That it has aluminum. Aluminum. There's nothing wrong. Aluminum. Your body use, has aluminum in it. I use uh, <laughs> Iron Man. I use, no, I'm serious. There's aluminum <laughs> in your body. I use aluminum uh, free deodorant. It's expensive. Is it? I heard that's not that shit's not good. It's right? all natural. Yeah. I mean, the aluminum deodorant. All my shit's natural. Yeah, you get oh. your body has metals in it, dude. Um, aluminum, magnesium, iron. He's just trying to think of all the fucking copper. You have copper in your blood too. All right. Magnesium. Yeah, you do. Magnesium's important. I take yeah. magnesium supplements. Oh, for sleep. Uh, it's crazy. That's oh crazy. wait, you didn't finish your shit. What the fuck? Oh, was yeah. you so, Sorry. So while you're talking to this young lady, oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's these the, guys yeah. were like t- looking at you, Is like one? talking shit, talking shit about this beer, or they could have been like trying to hit on the younger lady. Yeah, they were like, well, "Who is this guy? He just comes in here talking shit about a beer and trying to get our girl." Mm. Uh, yeah. you know? I know because so they those two things. honestly because it looked like they were trying the to hit her up. Probably. I think it's the second one because they looked is like it the same, wanted... is it the same girl that the me- the Latina that was one. cute but she's fucking annoying as shit. With her voice that you hate her voice, yeah, that's her voice. The voice girl. I don't even know, but like her voice. That's why I did the voice. Uh, so that's voice. a pretty good. Yeah. That's a pretty good. She has like a. Yeah, ho- yeah. <laughs> she has a horse voice. What are you drinking? It's like, oh my god. She has a horse voice. I need. I, like, I didn't put like we're live now. I should put that at least that we're live now. I mean, what you can do is you can do like a story of us recording the episode as you record us. Sometimes you're just like a genius, man. Yeah, I'm a fucking genius. Say, it, Carlos, it's better when you say it. <laughs> Did I say it? You say that all the time. Class, when really? you're when you're sarcasm shit. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, that's sorry. I was a fucking genius. <laughs> 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 all right, we're live on. Woo! Wait. Wow, what? we're not live because you didn't All right, we're live Ooh. on YouTube now. Oh. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Sorry, podcast. We're, we're just on doing the it. live stream. Check it out on YouTube. The link was posted on the previous post that I put on the Beer Boats Instagram. Check out the oh, YouTube whatever. to see why yeah, we have yeah. a green screen. Yeah, yeah. We, we, I know it is cool that we have a green screen, but you can see love. Hashtag Huawei. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Corona. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought you were going to say Mariah. <laughs> Nothing, never mind. Verizon? All right, let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I thought you were going to say Kesha Corona. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, that's so... That's no. So bad, dude. All right. I'm not you. All right. I, I never put... I did not put hashtag coronavirus. Yeah, but look at the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Sure. But I have my limits. I know my lines. I'm not going to... You move. have limits? Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty superhuman. I ain't got that many limits, dude. People think I'm actually retarded, but I'm pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> and by people, he means his parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, now nah, on the real though, I'm not gonna use the, the R word. If that's a, not a good word. Someone which asked one? me, you should not oh, use the R yeah. word. They don't like when I uh, wait. Why not? Someone asked me politely, which I respect. When someone doesn't like a word, they if they ask politely, that's a whole different story. Like, may you please not use that word? Like, to you mean me. like retarded? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she mean like <laughs> that's what the word is. <laughs> Cause like, well, I think I told you like she has a sister who has a a mental disability. Uh, not autism. What's the one? Is it autism? I actually don't know a lot She's of the things. She's on the spectrum. The one that has like the eyes that sometimes are like the face looks Down like syndrome. a little. Yeah, Down syndrome. Down yeah, syndrome. yeah, yeah. But that, yeah, but a lot of those people syndrome. aren't. No, I know, I know. But if anything, people are more smart. But that's like to them that's an like offensive autist- word. Autistic people are very smart too sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Most of the time, I guess. No. Yeah, because they're like, like really good at certain areas, yeah. and like they excel in that sure. stuff. All right, let's start the episode, you guys. Woo! We're finally gonna start the Corona. Drinking. So we're gonna start Wait, with the Corona before we start. Uh, go for it. Go for it. Are we gonna talk about part one? Are we... I don't even remember part one, dude. What the fuck do you remember from part one? <laughs> <laughs> no, but the reason why there's no part one uh, episode. I th- didn't four, we already? Talk? You talked about that on the actual podcast, but if people are catching us on YouTube. Okay. If you guys don't know, there was uh, the Beer Bros. Season 2, Episode 4. Part 1. Part 1. There is a part 2. 
Uh, that one got corrupted. There is no part one because, again, the file... Well, we pressed stream and it, I guess it didn't record the live stream or whatever. Um, and I didn't put start recording as well, so... Double whammy? Yeah, it was double, double whammy. whammy. Yeah. <laughs> the second one is my fault because oh, I should have yeah. done a backup. I should do start oh. streaming and, always, and also start recording the video at the same time in case for some reason... It it's all a learning experience. Yeah. yeah. Um, but... <laughs> yeah, we lost that file. Got corrupted for some reason. Save on YouTube, and sure. yeah, we lost that whole fucking episode. Part one was a great episode. I think was three, it? it was amazing. Season two, episode you were there. four, part one. Fuck, I don't remember. That's what like we did. that was that's like how good it was. Remember, yeah. we started off with the whiskey. Yeah. Oh, and then, yeah, yeah. The Japanese after whiskey. the whiskey, then the blind pig. Yeah. Oh, that, the blind pig episode. You lost the blind pig yeah. episode. And that's the one and we had the two hundred thirty dollar whiskey, and we took but. shots from it. Now we don't have any more whiskey. <laughs> and we talked about pedophile. We talked about the did we? beginning of the bachelor weekend and all that oh, shit that, that was a good it. episode yeah but Fuck. i mean part two you talked about the bachelor yeah, yeah yeah but part one no, i think yeah. was like the but best it was a nice like, better one yeah. you didn't was, get like, into the, the bachelor momentum. party until the second episode i remember but like leading we up started, to it was pretty yeah. good though yeah. he was but. just like leading like yeah like, but it was good though but it was good like the yeah. way like it was like organized it was like oh, oh yeah. what's gonna happen in part two we left the cliffhanger dude and then like i was like and then you're gonna find out next time yeah i was like i forget but yeah it was yeah, so we lost it. It was sad. There's no way we could redo it because it's not a script. We can't replay. We can't. I don't even know how we started. I just know we started with the Japanese whiskey and somehow we moved on. And to blind we... pig. Yeah, but I know we, before, before we even got to Badger Party, we were talking about something else before that, too. We went oh. on different tangents, dude. Yeah. Was it the wedding? No, it wasn't the no. wedding. No, no, because happen. they came out in part two. Well, there was oh, something was that Cheers happened before. Jeffrey. There's something that happened before the Badger Party. I don't party. remember, dude. I don't know, yeah, I don't fucking know. Because that was a while, it's been a while since we, yeah. we were catching up on, on stuff. I don't know. But there's something else that happened like a different day we were hanging out. Or How something. was the wedding? I was dope. Everybody did. How was Japoy Poi's wedding? It was cool. <laughs> Stupidest <laughs> nickname ever. I'm sorry, <laughs> I mean, I'm, we'll get to it. Actually, let's, let's open the beers because, yeah, we, we should start. Do you want to switch that one for a colder one? No, nah, I'll just drink this one. Fuck okay. it. So we're all going to be drinking one pure bottle each. Gonna we're going to start with the Corona because we got to move into the vaccines. <laughs> The vaccinations for These Corona nice and, and to cure any coronavirus type of illness is Modelo Ooh, or Pacifico. That was a nice opening. Was it? Yeah, you didn't hear it. You put it right next to So remember, I'm kids, mode. we're in China. Oh, that is even better. We're drinking Corona to let one. you know that even oh, if you so get the coronavirus, out. drinking Modelo will help you cure that illness. By the way, Ooh. everything I say dude, I is false except thing. the stuff it's I say really that nice, is true. Dude. Just letting you guys know. I love it that I got it. My bad, I, I don't know if you wanted to open one. But we no, you, I mean, we all got to take turns opening it. Anyways. So this is going to be a re- What do we know about Corona, by the way? I never fucking I know researched that's anything. Mexico. That's it, yeah. Are I never researched anything. Who wants to research Corona? I'll do like fucking... I'll do Modelo. <coughs> I'll do Modelo. I'll look up Corona. Modelo. <coughs> but yeah. Um, <coughs> all right, going to Jeffrey's wedding. Fuck, oh my I God, think, my throat. I need a drink. Hold on. I think you just got the coronavirus. <coughs> Yeah, that's why we're drinking it first. <laughs> <laughs> it's why we're drinking it first. I actually had like a... <laughs> a flame bar, I couldn't see. All right, it's why we're drinking Corona first because the, the, again, the vaccination or the cure to it is either Pacifico or some other type of Mexican uh, lager. Some other Mexican. Type of Mexican. <laughs> Mexican beer lager. So this is Modelo. So if you have the Corona chills, then drink some Modelo or Pacifico. You'll feel better right after. Uh, and this is a true, real information because we're again are in China, where it's actually located. Are we the still corona. in China? Yeah, yes, we're, we're, still yeah China. we're still in China. And look at us! We, right now, we're getting a little bit sick. You just saw me like cough, go. <clears throat> and as we sw- switch to Modelo, you'll see I'll sound clearer. I'll sound more intelligent. I'll be Whoa! More intelligent. <laughs> God damn! Intelligent. This is a super serum, man. I'll, I'll be, <laughs> I'll be more sophisticated. <laughs> damn! I'll even what? look skinnier. I would be yeah. fat. Like holy shit. Dude. <laughs> We're even gonna do a dress change to show how clean you get after. Like, I'm not gonna have like, facial hair anymore. Oh my god, I'm gonna be a clean shaven boy. That was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, my a beer was Michael, and I was looking up the information for you guys, or listeners, or girls. You know, beer I, butters. Beer butters. You know, it's actually funny, but a lot of like men at least. I mean, probably even females Damn, too. But when 14 I was... grams of carbs? Okay, wait, wait, read it out. He, he's got the information. So, according to Corona, with the refreshed and smooth taste balance between heavier European imports and lighter domestic beer, Corona is an even keeled cerveza with fruit, honey, aromas, and a touch of malt. That's so weird to read. Is it fruit, honey? Yeah. 
is an even uh, fruit honey oh, aromas, it does aromas. Gotcha. and a touch of malt. The flavor is crisp, clean, and well-balanced between hops and malt. A superior taste profile from superior ingredients. Mm, superior ingredients. 4.6%. <laughs> Better ingredients. Do you guys 4.6? Wanna, do you guys want to guess? I thought it was like 3%. It's 4.6? Do you guys want to guess? What? Guess what? What the score was for uh, Beer Advocate? Oh, for oh. Corona? I'm going to give it a solid. People gave it an 85. I give it a 72. Holy oh, shit. Oh, you guys are overreaching. Wow. Are you serious? What the hell did Beer Advocate give it? 56. Oh, oh my God. 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 You know what? Yeah. I gotta God say, damn. people on Beer Advocate, I think they're fucking like beer leaders. They're beer yeah. snobs. They gotta be, dude. It's like those guys at the cellar. Yeah. Like you saw, you. Pliny the Elder, they gave it 100. I don't think it's a solid 100 IPA. I think it's good. Pliny the Oh, the one we had on the show. Yeah. And then there was another one we had for the Russian River Brewing that also got a solid 100. I don't remember which one it was. I'm laughing because it's so weird to drink this beer and be like, yeah, yeah, the filter. The- <laughs> yeah, we're being this fucking. Like, this is I know, right? This hey, water. Are you a beer snob or you're a beer bud? <laughs> I'm in between. Oh my god, you know you're what? off the show. Let's <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> fucking play it. Let's play him out, you guys. <laughs> Goodbye, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Put, him Put him in the airplane. Put him in the airplane. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just number one. Okay, there you go. Oh. Well, there you go. Put him in the airplane, send him out. We'll <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. We leave and we send him out. <laughs> um, you know what I thought, you guys? Because people who drink Coronas, they don't just drink one. No, they drink, they drink like a six pack. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. So we're to taste one. Yeah. But it's 4.6%, you say, right? That's yeah. not too horrible, actually. I thought it'd be like, I thought they were like three percenters almost. A lot of times they're under four. They I might thought. be Corona Light. That's probably why. Or Coronitas. Mm. So, <laughs> it's like a smaller one, right? I actually yeah. like... See, I don't. I never want beer. Beer snob. Look, I don't like Mexican beers on most. Oh, they're gonna say I don't like Mexicans. I was like, whoa. I don't like Mexicans either. I think our people are fucking destroying this dude. country. I, be, I believe in Donald Trump. <laughs> but your women. <laughs> like, but just, your women are gorgeous, dude. Our <laughs> women are gorgeous. I haven't met a gorgeous Mexican yet. Well, from the parts that you're from. Are probably. you married to a Mexican, Mister Beerbus Daniel, a no. fellow Mexican? May I add? No, I'm not. What are you ma- married to? <sighs> A, f- a founder in this land we're in right now. <laughs> Chinaman. <laughs> oh, so it's a Chinaman. China oh, that's man. right, because we're in China. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> All right, beer was Carlos, a fellow Mexican as well. Did not marry a Mexican either. I married also someone for the motherland of where we're at. at <laughs> what? Another Chinaman. <laughs> <laughs> She's Korean. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you gonna confuse people? <laughs> like, <what> the... <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, and then Beerbud's Michael. Well, he hasn't. He's, he's single right now. But we're gonna change that when we go to the market. And, yeah, he's gonna see a lot of buttholes wearing. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make it super gay for him. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's get to the Corona shit. Um, oh yeah, I was saying I'm not a beer snob, but. Like, I don't like Coronas. I don't like most Mexican-style, like, common beers. I Okay, Coronas aren't bad. Any, Modelo isn't bad, but I definitely don't like Pacifico. At least from what I remember. You, you remember I got up that fucking can. I didn't finish it. That shit was disgusting, I think. That's all. Really? Yeah. Did but, you put Pacifico in can? Yeah, they had, like, it was, like, a big can. Remember oh, at the yes, festival? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I didn't so. finish it. I was sick that day, too, though, but I didn't finish it. Yeah. That sounds gross. Yeah, it, it was gross. Um... Dude, he's this guy. You had an, but that was completely your fault because they had an IPA tall can and then a Pacifico tall. It was can. like Anita's tall can. I didn't and want like Anita's. You chose oh, a Pacifico, that's your fault. dude. Yeah, no, I did. Yeah, I didn't want like Anita's, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, but I don't think Corona deserves a fifty. Fucking, it's not like a fifty means like. To me, that's super failing. It's like, why the fuck would anyone ever drink this? I, I could drink this like when I'm on the beach or just chilling and relaxing. Having ceviche or something. Yeah, just I know why. Something too. that other one has a deep doesn't have a deep alcoholic taste and maybe just a small amount of bitterness. Because that has so a small. Weird. It does have a slight touch of maltness for sure. And it did come out as in a cameo in Fast and the Furious. Oh yeah, Fast and Furious people love it. Yeah. Fuck yeah. But when they're talking about familia, yeah, yeah so like, I don't familia. drink anything else but Corona. Is that dude fucking? And Vin Diesel isn't even Mexican, right? Nah, he's not. 
I don't know. Is he Cuban? Puerto Rico? Who the fuck is that guy? I thought he was Caucasian. I thought he was white. I think he is white. Let me check. Yeah, some fucking white ass guy acting all tough. Living in The Rock hates that guy, man, and I understand. Yeah, because he's a little bitch. Come at me, Vin Diesel. What are you going to do, bitch? Nothing. You're Dude, imagine right. Vin Diesel's watching right now. He's like one of the fans. <laughs> oh, you making fun of my corona? <laughs> he's from California. Is he? Yeah. He might be Mexican. Yeah, but what is he, though? Imagine he's really from Boyle Heights. That would be funny. Let's just say where he's, where he's fucking... Alameda County? Oh, that's up there. Yeah, but that's where he's born. What the fuck is his ethnicity, man? You got you to gotta look American. up... American. No, you got to look up what his ethnicity is. He is, um, he is His mother ambi- is English, German, and Scottish yeah. roots. So he's ambiguous ancestry is what he is for ethnicity. Yeah. So yeah, but he's, he's, uh, he's in a fucking uh, European blood, blood, whatever. Young blood. Yeah. And he plays a fucking... Paul Walker! Oh, Paul Walker. <laughs> I miss some guys. I don't. I didn't know the guy. He was, he was a star, good, dude. dude. Yeah, another guy. I he knew cool. his movies. Yeah, you miss Kobe Bryant too, huh? No, no. Really <laughs> <laughs> I miss Paul Walker. What about Kobe Bryant? No. I think we <laughs> talked about Kobe. Yes, we did. In part one. Oh shit, we did. That's right. Because yeah. I, I don't care about Kobe. I didn't care either. I'm sorry. I, if I don't know that person, I'm not gonna care. I try to get into but, it, and I just don't care. Yeah. I never went to a game. I remember thinking I did. I did find it annoying. That's what it was. Because in part one, I I will say I repeat this because I thought this was annoying. When he died and then the helicopter crashed, and so did the other people around him. Almost everybody fucking posted and I'm like, oh, here's your Kobe, and like rip, rip Kobe. I understand he was an influential figure, but this is what I complained about was that they never fucking mentioned. Like a lot of places, the other people who also died on the helicopter besides him and his uh, daughter. daughter. They're like, oh, fuck the other seven people that died. I'm like, what? Fuck you, dude. Like, I don't know. That shit <laughs> pissed me off. Just because like, I weren't, get. They weren't goats. Yeah, I know. Yeah. They weren't like fucking, like, yeah. But that's, that's, that's a miracle. What's the noise that the goat makes? I'm not gonna make, <laughs> this guy's like, I, oh, I'm going to see if I can make him. Make a goat. <laughs> no, it's because I wanted to make a goat noise, but I didn't know how what it sounds like. Bullshit, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm not lying. Uh, you're not falling. Because the one. song that I was going to make. <laughs> it's like, nah, nah, the me. song that I was going to make was a sheep. Uh, I, yeah, you're right, dude. What do goats sound like? I'm not going <laughs> to do Are you trying to have? sheep go like, meh. Yeah, right? that's what I was going to do. Meh. <laughs> Guns essentially do the same sound though. It's just a little deeper. They do. You guys want a goat fact? Sure. So okay. check this out. There's this thing called a Judas goat, right? When people are trying to eradicate goats, <laughs> so they just gun them down, right? Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, they gun them down through like helicopters. But goats are in like really remote areas because sometimes they climb, right? With their little like uh, hooves and shit. They climb like, mountain goats. Mountain, yeah, mountain yeah. goats. So it, how to find like those herds or whatever they they kill most of the goats they leave one and they call it the judas goat and then they put a tracker on that bitch and they send them out and then that goat finds the because they're social animals so they find the herd and then oh well, another herd because there's multiple herds and then they go they track that bitch and then they fucking shoot everyone <laughs> else except that one judas goat and then that judas goat's like oh well my friends are dead and then he goes and finds another one and then that's how they eradicate him. That sounds so fucking shit. horrible, dude. Like, that's what is, messed up. Is it because, like, are they, like, an overpopulated... Yeah, 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 because yeah, they decimate, like, landscapes. Oh, well, yeah, because... Yeah. Okay, that's why. Yeah. Okay, I mean... That's brutal. They do New Zealand. <laughs> they do, like, fucking hogs are doing... Going on shit. some goat extermination. We're going to del- eliminate all of the greatest of all time. Let's go kill LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> is he one of the greatest, though? He didn't get as many rings. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't care about basketball. Do you guys watch sports? <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm a man. Well, I, watch- <laughs> I watch sports. <laughs> Esports, bro. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, I bro. Watch- I watch sports, bro. <laughs> I watch... Uh, you see the Clippers yesterday? <laughs> the archery like competition. No way. You're into archery? Bro, I want to get into archery. Oh, dude. You did the bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we broed out right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, continue You're saying that that's it. Oh, that's it? Oh, you just watch archery competitions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch archery competitions Is it On YouTube John Dudley? 
that you I don't. Have? I watch everybody. Oh, so like okay. all different ages and stuff, just to see. Just so you guys out. know, Christine actually wants to try out archery. That's I do nice. too. Well, we should all go. I'm down. You've yeah. been saying that, and I've been like, Daniel, what's up? I oh. took an archery class. Did in you? Yeah. Fuck, bro. We gotta I do this archery. shit. I'm asking. You were this me? close, huh? Uh, you were this close. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was like, "All right, I'm gonna buy a long bow." Yeah. You were like down. I'm no, like, yeah. Drop it on it too. Yeah, I've been down. Yeah. I'm still down, dude. I bought an airsoft gun for the club of God. My last name means archers. Really? My last name is Casares. Because if you look at my family's coat of arms, there's uh, three archery bows. Oh, really? That's what is cool. your last name? Oh, because it's Ballesteros. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Have you ever played uh, Loteria? Mm-hmm. Same thing. Wait, what is the Loteria card? It's it's called... Ba- I forgot what the fuck the arrows are called, but they have an arrow one right there. Mm. Oh, yeah, I've seen the, the image, yeah. but I don't remember what the card name is. Yeah. All right. So we're going back to like, Corona. I just keep drinking the beer and I don't even think about the score. Yeah, I haven't been yeah. done. All right. So we're going to actually do a taste time? store. Let's actually do it. Let's fucking do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, boys and yeah, girls. You're going to take down the score? Corona? Yeah, I'm going to take down the score. So let's think about this, everybody. We're going to be tasting the Corona. If you're there tasting with us, well, take a chug. If you're not, if you're prepared, that's awesome. If not, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Do you have any chips? <laughs> what? <laughs> I know, right? Some some ceviche guac. lying around. No, man. You guys gotta fucking be serious about this. This is a serious thing we're doing right now. It's gonna be hard to score. But man. I'm also hungry. But you guys, you guys are beer buds too. We gotta be serious. All right, let's do the first thing. Three hours away from tacos. All right, change. I do want to check something else. <laughs> let's do it. So our first thing is the smell. What do you guys think about the smell? I'm gonna do from the bottom. And I'm actually gonna pour a little bit because I want to see if there is a difference. Mm. It just smells like Mexican style lager. It just sounds actually. like it's yeah. not. It's, it's not horrible though. It's it smells normal. I can't smell anything. Really? Oh, it's not good at sniffing this because it's. I think it's because like it's mixed quap. with the quap. Yeah. yeah, it's mixed with the quap. We have to rinse it out. Mm. Are you do a new? It's new not pour? a horrible smell, but it's not anything interesting. I give it. Like Let a, me get a fucking. I give it a four. Cup. It just smells like a concert floor. <laughs> Pretty much. I was just gonna what? say it smells like Mexican style lagers, dude. But yeah, it smells like a. Sounds Here like, you go. This is better. Easier to smell it. Mm, I still give it a four. Oh, yeah. I guess that's just what beer smells like to us, right? Actually, this is, yeah, this is a lot more pissy smelling. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a concept. No, yeah, you're right. It does smell a lot more pissy. It doesn't smell like a regular Mexican style lager. Well, pissy? like the craft ones. Oh. Ooh. Like, it smells like more piss. Like, it, not as bad the smell, but you know when you go on those stairs and, like, parking lots, like, yeah. parking structures, and you're going up to stuff, people for some reason piss in those stairwells? Oh, That's yeah. so stupid. It smells a little bit it smells like, like that. Homeless. Homelessness. Homeless pee right here. That's what it smells like. Yeah, it's not that great. I agree. I'm going to give it a 4 2 for the smell. No, I'm going to give it a 3.5. I think, think. No, it's bearable. It's not like it's not bearable. I'm going to give it a 5. It's not special, but I can bear the smell. It's not hard. Like, yeah, I don't know. I give it a 5. So beer was Michael gave the smell four. What about you, Daniel? Oh, that's tough. I give it a four too. All right. It's not like a disgusting smell, but it's not like no. Yeah. Appetizing. Now taste. I'm gonna check in the bottle. It's not a good taste. It's just, it's just Corona. I don't know. It's hard. Oh God, it tastes worse than a fucking glass. I give it a five. (laughs) I give it a five. What the fuck? Why does it taste worse than the fucking glass? Hold up. Because it has coronavirus in it. Hold up. Let me, let me rinse. Maybe it, it wasn't rinse or clean. You didn't even rinse it. <laughs> just pour it. There you go. It yeah. <laughs> in the same spot. Well, no, I, I'm just saying like. <laughs> you didn't even like. <laughs> Damn, the taste is very like fucking unapparent actually. As the more I drink it, it's it's not there. Bland. I give it a five. I, I'm having trouble like finding a taste too. Mm-hmm. I so, feel like that's why I, give I it get a five. a five. I give it a four. It's a little bitter, fucking iced tea. I think I like the taste of a Perrier better than this. Perrier is like a. What'd you give it? A five. 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 Okay. Okay. We didn't even do the fucking pop, dude. We did. Yeah. We What'd did. you give it a four? Oh. I gave it a four. We did the pop like three oh, times. Oh, we did. Damn. Okay. Sorry, man. <laughs> Alright, what about the feel? I feel like Corona feels probably are going to be at least somewhat decent, right? It feels like a 7. Dun, 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 dun. China, man. It's not a bad it feels feel. good to be in China, honestly. Like, look at all the fucking... 
Like the the no people on the street because they have coronavirus, dude. Yeah. Where are we right now? We're in the middle of like a plaza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're at the docks. Yeah. The docks? The docks? Yeah, because oh, we just arrived on the oh, scene. China yeah. docks? Fresh off the boat, you know? <laughs> uh, we're at the docks right now just reporting. We've, we've set up just our reporting. table. <laughs> just reporting. Just reporting. We're doing a Drinking Beer Buds podcast on live on the China docks, you know? Uh, what city is this? Uh, Shanghai Square. Fucking no, dude. I don't know China geography. I don't know what the fuck we are. We just flew in here, man. Come on. (laughs) When you fly into China, you don't fly into a city. You fly into the country. (laughs) (laughs) True, true, true. All right. Um, The feel from the bottle is different from the glass. I'm not joking, actually. Here, try this. Oh, you dirty ass glass. Bitch, I got coronavirus. You do too. We're about to get cured right now with some Modelo. I just saw him lick. What the fuck? It tastes super different, doesn't it? It's weird. It tastes disgusting in one piece. It tastes worse? Yeah. But we're, now we're doing feel. Yeah, it tastes warmer. Like pee pee. <laughs> I don't like the feel. As I continue drinking, it's uh, four. I'm going to get a four for feel. I'll give it a five. This is actually kind of bad. <laughs> for taste? Uh, feel. Oh, for feel. feel. What did I give it for taste? A four. You right? give it a four. A four. Mm, you know, feel? I'm beginning to agree with the 54% <laughs> from your advocate. Five. Do you get a five? Yeah. Right, we're, we're, we're getting to the beer advocate score. Fuck, dude. Okay. Chug a Billy. This is a real test. So, if you got a beer, whatever beer it is, it doesn't matter. We're going to do a Chug a Billy test. So, the Chug a Billy test, if you're new to the podcast, you've never known about it, it's just something we do for all beer butts because a beer butt is someone you want to drink with. Oh, shit. So, what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> but you do chug a big test you test like is this beer drinkable like can i chug it can i use it in some games drink games whatever or sometimes you just feel like chugging a beer yeah so we do that so unique score only unique to the beer buds because you know we're not beer snobs we're not beer geeks we're not beer elitists we're not beer advocates why are you talking like this <laughs> Because I'm sick with the coronavirus right now, man. He's got a little Mexican so, beer in him. You know, uh, it's, it's only particular to the beer. I feel... Right, I just, just got to say, I feel everywhere I go, all my friends make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> whether, oh. it's, whether it's online when I'm talking to people, for some reason... I'm so easy to pick I, on. <laughs> I thought you were. Uh, nah, yeah, I don't care. I'm I thought just you were picking around. that one song from uh, Frosted Flakes. People wanna know. Ah, who I don't remember who we are. are. Oh. So oh, we, we tell them. them. <laughs> we don't even know. Don't know <laughs> no, that's that's we right. are the tigers, <laughs> mighty, mighty mighty tigers. Yeah. Wait, what is? It? Is that the, the Frosted Flakes song? Yeah. It was in a commercial, yeah. When they were oh, playing shit, basketball. Dude. Nice. Oh, Ooh. shit, dude. I see a Chinaman, man. No. Oh, shit. There's one. Wait. Yeah, there's a Chinaman. Chinaman. Oh, dude, he has a mask. Watch out. Carlos. <laughs> 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 Fucking Carlos. That's how we're never going to get sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I'm done. Okay. This, all right. Let's do a trick ability test again. So um, <laughs> this is the beer buds. We do a chug ability test. The way we do it, we play the song, and then we chug during the song, we give the score. That's the rule? We, yeah, it's always been like that, yeah. And then uh, sometimes the one thing you got to know is that <laughs> with chug ability, the way chug ability is scored, the, the way it's scored, or like the rating for it, the specifications, like when you chug it, does it taste good? And mm. is it easy? Because some beers actually do taste better when you chug it. I remember we had one uh, IPA or something yeah, that was, like... It changed super when cool. you tagged yeah. it. Yeah, it was like the, the easiest. It was like a number ten. I think it was. Yeah, yeah, because the blind pick was my favorite. Yeah, that thing uh, like was so easy to chug for an IPA. That's insane to chug. That was like I was like, yeah, this is my gold standard for IPA chugging for sure. Yeah, yeah. that was good. So yeah. we're doing chugability. Let's get to it. We're gonna mute our mics and we're gonna start the song. Woo! First, we're gonna do the little click. All right, and then how do I mute? <laughs> Control three. Control three. I got. All right, we're muting real quick. We're going to do this all over again. All right, so we're going to mute, and I'm going to play the song, and I'm going to mute. All right, and we're going to go there. Let's do it. We're chugging, everybody.
bad way. Okay. Um, it, it's not... I don't know. It's not like it's hard tasting wise to chug. Oh, I'm so full now. Yeah, but that's what, that's why fucking Mexicans get fat, dude. Yeah, I feel like this is like fat juice. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, 14 grams of carbs is what I. That, yeah, is that a lot? lot? Yeah, that's a shit. That's a it shit sounded time. like a little bit to me, but that then like because because the sugar, you know, and some mm. some some have a, like 30 grams of sugar. So <laughs> like fuck, my protein fun. shake, one scoop is like. 22 grams of protein so it's like mm. one little scoop like that is 22 grams like 14 imagine. grams of carbs is a lot dude but that's like grams dense, of, huh? yeah, um, super dense so we so chugged like it 14 grams of carb that's a lot dude that's like liquid bread then right? yeah Pretty this much. one is yeah, yeah for sure uh this dude, was this is only the first beer i yeah, know this was um i'll see there it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't it depends the type of person you are but if you don't like feeling bloated after chugging a beer i don't recommend corona at all yeah. i after I finished chugging it, and we only had That's like just bi- one beer. Yeah, and we only had like and less we than like, half. And we were sipping. Yeah, it. I, I, I felt really bloated after. Like yeah. I could feel liquid in my stomach. Like so, it's a very fattening chugging beer. It's not, it's not hard to chug though. But no, it's easy to chug, but it's just like very. Uh, full it's pudding. I, don't, I didn't like it. It's not my cup of tea. What's a cup of beer? But we'll we'll rate. If we're going with the rating about taste. And how easy it is to chug. It is easy to chug, but the taste isn't great either. So I'm gonna give it a five. I'll give it a five. I'm gonna be being it. Mm. It's it's normal. That's fair. I don't know why people like this shit. Chicken I take it bro. back. I understand why Beer Advocate gave it a five. I even check ability, something that we came up with, I don't think it got a great score. I feel like it's a six though. I feel like five's a little too low. Alright. What do you about? I'll give it a four because I'm like, man, if I'm going to get a shitty beer, at least I want to drink it fast. <laughs> and, and, and you're like, like oh, yeah. fucking bad. Yeah, so. Yeah, Corona did uh, pretty bad. I used to like, I thought I used to like them. But Me like, too. When you I know? just chugged it, I'm just like, wait, why do I think uh, it was this chuggable? Yeah. I like, bet the scores, the scores say, it, like, the scores call it out. Themselves. I thought this was a yeah, little turn on chuggability. Yeah, me too. You thought so? I thought so too, actually. I'm not going to say I didn't think so either. I thought it was going to be too. Like, the scores for it aren't too bad already. I already know it's like some, most of the averages. Most of the averages were like at a 0.33 score for those. Mm-hmm. So like 4.33 or 5.33, something mm-hmm. like that. But Oh, so it's not that bad. Uh, but that's pretty low, though. It is. It's really low, low for this because oh, those are IPAs and those are like. But I mean, beer. Uh, we Sours. I think overall we're gonna have a lower score than oh, yeah. Advocate gave it. I think more is gonna so. win tonight. So are we the fucking yeah. elitists now? I may be, man. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I think we are. We're no, turning into everything dude. we dislike. I know, but no, I mean it's a truth. Like this is. I'm not. I'm tr- I was trying to get rid of my preconceived notions, but I don't think it is. Good. I don't understand why people drink it. There's way better beers to chug and drink that probably have lighter alcohol volume. That don't make you feel as fat, mm. mean, like bloated. So, so what if people came to that same conclusion? That's why they lost all that money. It's not, it has nothing to do with the coronavirus. It's because they had shit and beer. <laughs> they just like they just right listen to a beer buds podcast. Like, yeah, they just, just try these new beers. <laughs> Fuck coronas. Beer buds say they suck. <laughs> <laughs> you right. know what? I'm interested. I'm interested now where this episode is gonna go with Modelo too. Because I think Modelo might be know? better though. I think Modelo is gonna be the winner. I think so too. But I've it's, it's also like I think it might be thicker than this one or heavier. I think so, right? Possibly. But then it might. But be it's a lot smoother chug. though. Yeah. Because I feel like I've never checked the modelo. I'm just like. Ugh. I haven't either. The he- you know what's worse? The head on the Corona tastes so bad. Actually, the head's so bad. I was just drinking like Can the remaining. The yeah. Um, I I really don't like the head in the Corona. The head of the Corona. Oh, like the just. The yeah, that's from the end of being. All right, so next one we got is the Modelo. Are we doing Modelo? Yeah, Modelo. Or no, no, I want to say Modelo. Is it Pacifico? Fuck. Pacifico? Yeah, I don't want to fucking kill myself. Okay. With fucking... Just put it with the other ones. I don't want to kill myself. All right, we got the good old Pacifico. Uh, I think this one's Pacifico. Yeah, Pacifico. Right? No, I opened it. Oh, yeah, yeah, Pacifico. I'm opening it. Yeah, I'm opening it. And then Pacifico. Yeah, I'm opening it. 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 Yeah, I'm what? You guys are crazy, man. It's like the same temperature. Dude, we're beer elitists. Come on. Yeah, true. All right. Here's a pop. Everybody, quiet. That's a decent pop. Yeah, that's how the, that's how the Corona yeah. sounds. Right. So just in case <laughs> you guys... <laughs> Dude, Jeffrey's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, you saw that culo? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was the only culo. Cool 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 <laughs> man, there's another shit on the podcast. All right. Th- that last one was the best pop for sure. 
<laughs> no way. All right. Oh, so. shit. Your culo's on YouTube. <laughs> you can't even see anything. Else. It's like, oh, you can't kind of see something. You That's fucking cool. idiot. No, you can't. You fucking you can't idiot, you can't dude. See <laughs> My asshole's on the internet now. Look at, you look at your goodness. eyes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Beer Buds <laughs> listeners. Actually, I'm going to post that picture Beer on Instagram. Butters. <laughs> Beer Butters. We I, actually look like we're on a plane, though. Please. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> please do not. Oh, my God. Let me see that. No, you can't see it. <laughs> I mean, you can see me bending over. Yeah, you can yeah. see it. But they don't know it's me. Oh, my fucking word. You, I mean, it's super blurry, though. So that's it cool. It just looks like you're, right. you have your pants on. But they know, yeah. They know that I'm, like, bending down. and like but Nobody over. knows that's you. You can't prove that. Oh, <laughs> shit. You guys are... They just know you're a pedophile. Idiot. All right. Let's go to Pacific, bro. Yeah. So, again, this is Beer Bus Carlos. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was just some random shit. All right. You know, so now, we, because I, we just finished the corona, we're no longer going to be in China. We're going to go get cured. We're on a plane. We're traveling back to the States. Because uh, in the States is... Damn, dude, nice. So it's the. <laughs> let, let, <laughs> <laughs> and you See, I got the coronavirus right now. Oh, god damn it! All right, so what I was saying is like <laughs> we, we're leaving China because we just finished the corona. <laughs> you started that whole thing over. <laughs> we're, we're back onto on, on the plane. We're going back to Mexico so we could get cured. We're going mm, to go get cheaper. some procedures. Dude, some some oh. we're in first class. I oh. make eight figures. He makes. Six two figures, figures. <laughs> he makes five figures. Well, he said two, two figures, figures, and we're like, oh, shit, $20, and then, yeah, all right, so we're here now. <laughs> and then I'm going to get a McDonald's fries and tacos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so the reason we just summarized that is because we, we forgot we were muted for a little bit. <laughs> Dude, put the beach background real quick. Oh, I got oh. this. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll right? add it. That's we're going to Mexico. Yeah, we're going to go to Cancun right now in a little bit. <laughs> Right now, we're with Daniel. <laughs> with Daniel is gonna read off the 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 uh, Pacifico shit. <laughs> All right, so, it, dude, surprisingly in love, man. Three German guys created Pacifico. What? Yeah, it's so crazy. It's like a pilsner. What? Yeah, it's a pilsner, but it was made in Mexico. So the three German brewers established a cerveceria. Del Pacifico in the small Mexican port town of Mazatlan. What? It's a Pilsner style lager. Um, yeah, I guess it's from the Baja. Crazy, man. Imported by surfers. I would never think of German guys. Yeah, think right? Of Pacifico. So then, I mean, I, like, I guess I, I, I'm not a big, I'm, I'm not a big Pilsner guy. Yeah. But, um, but dude, it's pretty crazy. What the you know? fuck? So it's a Pilsner inspired by Mexican food. Mexican um, beer, I guess, or Mexican flavors. That's fucking beer. crazy. Yeah, and basically that's it. I don't know. Let me see. Um, what's the percentage on this bad boy? Does it say on there? I don't see it. I don't even I don't see it on the Google. Corona when I saw it. We had a look. Oh, it's four point five. Oh my bad. Is that like the Corona? Corona's four point six. Yeah. Mm, so it's pretty similar. All right. Are we in Mexico yet? 
We're getting there. No, no, yeah, we're gonna be in Mexico soon. <laughs> me, 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 and, me and Daniel were in the airplane in a different. We went back to economy Wait, class. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Why are we in economy class? Wait, what's that lag for, dude? Fucking da- Carlos is fucking up the whole thing, dude. All right, all right, we'll be in Mexico then. Wait, is that the live right there? Yeah, that's, that's live. It's lagging a little bit, right? Uh, well, yeah, we're a little bit ahead of it. Okay. All right, fucking women. <laughs> Look at his head. Dude, it looks like you're giving us head. <laughs> All right, women. <we're> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you cover the <laughs> I tried to make a new scene, but then it kept moving. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. We made it in Mexico. We're now drinking some Pacificos in the fucking island with my homeboy. Woo! Fucking Danny right here. And then we got that's Clarissa him. right here. That's Teresa? Oh, uh, Cla- Cla- <laughs> <laughs> That's Clarissa, man. Clarissa. No, but no, seriously though, this is your poi poi. And uh, Kayleen, his beautiful wife who just got married and beautiful husband. And they're right now in Cancun, you know, yeah, enjoying their honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're just in the background of their honeymoon right now, just recording the podcast. Gosh, with in the the they're in the background. They're in the background. <laughs> I don't know camera words. <laughs> Stays left, bro. That's not even. Huh? So is it really? Is it really? There's stage left. We stage um left. we talked about Pacifico. We learned some stuff about Pacifico. Pacifico? And what was Pacifico? Yeah, yeah fucking it's, uh, whitewash Mexican. <laughs> fucking Opalo. Baby. We're talking to English speakers on the beer butt, sir. No, you know Pacifico. <laughs> so what was it, though? Yes, okay, so it's crazy, man. You're not gonna believe this shit. But this I heard is, that you said it was a pilsner, right? Yeah, it's a pilsner, but it was, uh, I guess, created by three German guys that So went would to it Mexico. be considered German pilsner? I don't think so, because I think it's, like, inspired by, like, Mexican oh, sort of shit. German. <laughs> so it's a pilsner. It's a pilsner. So if you guys know what a pilsner is, it's we'll a tell pilsner. you. A pilsner is a type of pale lager. Um, they actually originated, most, most pilsners were from Germany, right? I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. no, the Czech city. So it's called. Oh, Czech. Czech, Czech yeah. It takes its name from the Czech city of Pilsen, where it was first produced in 1842 by Bavarian brewer Joseph Grohl. So yeah, I guess Germans because it's Bavarian shit. So yeah, Germans. Mm-hmm. The word's first blown lager, the original Pilsner, your Urquell, is still produced there today. That's interesting, actually. That's so crazy. they still have the original Pilsner still being produced by, uh, it's Urquell, the Bavarian brewer. Yeah, it's Urquell. So check this out. Did so, I do that? So these three German dudes, right? They go down in Baja, Mexico, make this beer there, and they have this little like pub. And then in the nine, that was nineteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds. And then in the seventies, like these, like I don't know, it just says surfer guys. They go down. I don't know who they are, but they go down there, and they discover this little like, like I guess brewery sort of there. And then they, that's that's how, like, Pacifico made it to, like, the rest of the world. Cool. That's crazy. Yeah. So, essentially, Pilsners are, like, the introduction to lagers, Mexican lagers, right? They had to be. I guess so. Because it was, like, Pilsners is a type of pale lager. I mean, it? Mm, it says it's the world's first blonde lager. And all yeah, Mexican-styled beers are essentially mm-hmm. blonde lagers, right? Yeah. Aren't they? Yeah. Mexican style beer, blonde lager? I don't know, dude. They're all lagers. Like, the, the sublime Mexican lager is a blonde lager... The Pacifico is a blonde lager. Well, it's a pilsner and a pilsner is a pale lager, but... Well, I'm not that sophisticated. Well, I mean, mean, according to this, like what I'm reading, the history of it. too nuanced. I just want some chips and guac. (laughs) You're fucking drunk, dude. Anyways, (laughs) let's go with the the, the taste scene. Oh, I was going to say, let's get you some... um, some Doritos? R- room service, but we're not on the. Oh, we're not on the no, that's we're not, we're not in Cancun. Thing. We're in the beach right now. It's so fucking nice and cool out here, you know. Uh, it smells like the, fucking dude, ocean. Sh- I've always wanted to say this on the airplane. Like, get the waitress over here. Did <laughs> 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 you guys just say that shit? Like, no, dude. See, yeah. you're supposed to. You're supposed to be like. Coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm getting cured. What do you mean coronavirus? No, oh, on the airplane when we go. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. You should get the window. The ones are already on the plane. <laughs> yeah, well, flying. Already. Not Mid- when we're midway. stationed. Midway. <laughs> midway. Fuck that. midway, midway. Well, we're almost there. Turn, yeah. No, when we land. We were almost. Close <laughs> <to the plane. laughs> I think I did shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, when we land, you'd be like, I've been feeling sick this whole no. time. <laughs> I feel kind of hot. <laughs> I think I have a 200 fever. 
Masters <laughs> degree for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is disgusting. I, I, yeah, I the first sip, like, I didn't like. So I, I, like this I don't mind it as much. It's man. not that bad. I don't know but, what it is. But it's a little bit smoother than the Corona. It's definitely smoother, yeah. Oh. It's like more watered down. It's super more watered down. I like it. Oh. I guess it is like really watered down, huh? Let me smell it. <laughs> it's going to get worse. I need to rinse this shit. I don't know if I could do this whole thing. Are you guys gonna, I guess we got to down it, huh? It's something to bitch. It's a chug of <laughs> Aren't you a beer butt dude? Or are you a beer bitch? <laughs> <I'm> a, <laughs> I wanted to say that just to say it. But Stop it just came out big. naturally, dude. I like that guy. Yeah, I made like eye that. contact. I, like I was that. like, I'm in the bitch, then. So beer butt. Get used to that in Ireland. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep drinking at this pub, guys. So being a bitch, then. <laughs> Sack up! <laughs> so, Beer Brothers, I gotta say, like, if you guys haven't checked out YouTube, you guys should check out the YouTube videos. This green screen has been a great idea. Dude, it was awesome. It is. Yeah, the green screen is cool. I'm fucking a genius sometimes. <laughs> I, like I say like that. Yeah, dude, I'm okay. Your hair's right been now. the same since high school. Why do you keep changing it? <laughs> <laughs> Carlos got a new barber recently. No, like, so... I want to grow out my hair, but when I grow out my hair, it's a lot. It's it's a lot harder to like cut your own hair when you grow it out. So fuck that. You cut your own hair? Yeah. Right now it's all good. it's all in camp because I fucking cut it out and do all that shit in the beginning. But yeah. Oh, earlier actually, so I did all this and then I'm like, I don't like taking too long. This I'm like, Christine, cut it for me. She fucking sucks. Oh, she like I she cut it like straight. so high up and it was that. uneven. I told her do a like fading up, and she did not know how to do. Why are you to give a fade? Not a fade, just like slowly, like just go up. So like yeah, this yeah. is a little bit shorter, right? It's like a like, gradient. Yeah. yeah. She she fucked up so badly. I ended up having to like this was like before the wedding too. Oh, <laughs> like the day, I ended up having to cut it. Like usually, I my hair is like down here. I ended up having to cut it up to up here and shit. So like it was really high up. Nobody noticed. Think thankfully. Actually, if you see pictures maybe of my back of my head, you can see the difference. And I don't think I, anyone takes a picture of the back mm-hmm. right now. But I had to try to fix it myself because she didn't know how to mm. fix it. And I was like, you oh, should grow out your hair. That'll be interesting. I know. Me too. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. I also don't like when he... I used to have my hair grown out and bigger. I don't like it. No? Because it's more like in your face. Yeah, and, you gotta Now I kind of want to grow out my hair again. Have you guys seen me with long hair? Yeah. Um, oh, not long, long, long hair. I'll show you right now. But longer than you have now. But you have a good barber, huh? I don't have a barber. I just wear super cuts. <clears throat> Not Christine? No, I just think it was actually catching up that audio. Holy shit, dude. I seen those pictures, yeah. That was a nice chunk. How, how long ago was yeah, that? Yeah, that was when he was a fat boy. Yeah, I'm a little fatty. A little chucha. How, uh, <laughs> how long did it take to get that long? Probably like a year. A year, yeah, it's it's not an easy investment. It's not a... Right. Uh, not something quick, huh? Pour it down, I always man. say I'm gonna grow it out and then I just end up cutting and it. And then you'll be a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay, we all know you're a bitch. <laughs> no, I know you're gonna chug it. You know what's crazy? You have a mar all right, Beer Brothers. Woo! He has like he's running Stop a marathon tomorrow. Beer Buds Daniel's running a marathon tomorrow. Oh shit, that's right. And he's doing the Beer Buds podcast today. <laughs> that is dedication and I actually applaud that and I appreciate it. Thank you. Check Daniel. this out, guys. You know what this is? This is my beer garden entry for tomorrow. So once I'm done, I'm going to go straight to the beer garden. Oh, that's actually kind of sick. Yeah. That's awesome. And I get all the beer I want. <laughs> After you're done, yeah. I'm going to refuel with beer. <laughs> you run 26 miles and you drink beer afterwards. Awesome that's idea. pretty cool. This sounds like pretty a horrible cool, idea. Cool, cool. But that's exactly pretty, what I did. Pretty, pretty good. <laughs> I got to show yeah. you guys an Elon Musk video. Yeah. But no, honestly, cool. thank everybody. If you can, give a shout out to Beerbuds Daniel. Thank him for coming out to Beerbuds Podcast. Said we're glad to have him out. Mm-hmm. Like, we know he has. You don't Because it is a de- no, no. Because it is a dedication. He has a marathon tomorrow, so like having to drink beer and all that obviously is not like. But thankfully, carbs, you're not gonna be good. drinking. Yeah, it's good thankfully. For you. Well, yeah, the carbs will probably help you actually tomorrow, but they're not healthy carbs necessarily, right? Probably not. Yeah. But the good thing is you're not drinking too much. Like we're gonna be. He texts us. I didn't finish, guys. Fucking <laughs> 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 I'm not trying to argue for this shit. So you're gonna cut out. You gotta <laughs> cut out. Oh, you cut it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go go more my way. There you go. We're good. Now you're cut off. No, no, I'm good. See. Okay, good. See. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm, I put poured the Pacifico in a glass cup. Oh, I cup. forgot we were still doing this. I thought we were just chilling. <laughs> I put the Pacific on the glass cup, seeing it. I'm going to smell it. I smell yeah. from the bo- it's hard to smell from the bottle, right? 
Yeah. I, yeah. I've had a really hard time trying to smell these. The smell in both the Corona like... and the Pacifico are really hard to smell, in my opinion. It's probably just the beer, maybe. Yeah, I think so, too. Mm-hmm. I think the beer's going to be the same smell. It just smells like a little bit like alcohol. Like a very light, hard liquor. That's what it smells like to me. A very light, hard liquor. Those you gotta really, can't smell shit. You got to put it, like, really close. Here, yeah. I don't want to accidentally, like, tip into it. Put it really close. I mean, it smells like, like a little... Like a, like a tea. Yeah. So whatever. I'm gonna give it a five for smell, dude. It it's like five. it's. It doesn't smell like shit. It doesn't. I don't know. There's nothing special about it. God damn, man. What are you? What, are you, what about you, D boy? Danny douche. I guess I give it a four. Four. Yeah. Beer buds, Daniel. Okay, so then now we got taste. What do you guys think about the taste? So I taste it from bottle. Let me taste from bottle because I'm curious about the change in taste. I don't like that watered downness it has. Yeah. I really don't like That's it. That's why I gave it a four. Because I feel like five is okay. You can still drink it. Even if you don't like it. But four what is the percentage on this? It's so watered down, dude. Five. Oh my god. Yeah. Try on the cup, dude. That is so watered down. It literally is an iced tea. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give this shit a four, too. Fuck that. You have a coronavirus. <laughs> 3.5. Okay, this is weird. So, it tastes warmer in the cup. Yeah, right? this is a, a subjective yeah. taste, in my opinion, because this is oh, like... Oh, it's so disgusting. Yeah, it's super watered down. This is a super subjective taste, because in my opinion, it's like, if you don't like tasting alcohol or mm. having any unique taste or having like a water... It has though. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Having That's a watered down beer... Cause some people might like that. Then maybe yeah, Pacific on Coronas are, are are for you. Bud Lights. Yeah. BLs. But this is super. It feels super watered mm. down. I'm not like Pacifico is actually like way more watered down than I would have expected it to be. Maybe that's why I didn't like it that time either. Cause this feels super watered down, dude. Dude, I'm getting like two kind of flavors. In the beginning, the immediate flavor, like I kind of like it. But yeah, then it goes away really it, yeah, fast. Yeah, it's the watered down and then shit. Then you get the water down. It just yeah. rushes down. And it's kind of like ugh, it's just like a like a hard water. What do they yeah. call it? Seltzer the water. Seltzer water. Yeah. Carbonated water. Yeah. Because the beginning, which you feel is that thing on your tongue, and you're like, oh shit, it's gonna taste like something. And all of a sudden, it goes away. Like when you start mm-hmm. swallowing it, it's like it's fucking water. Then you get that like backwash. Yeah. Sort of like bucket water taste so well, I, I gave it 3.5 for taste I don't think uh, I, I don't like it did I give it a taste or I didn't know no I gave it a 4 what you got beer buds Daniel damn I also give it a 4 yeah these birds make me want to go take a shit yeah I mean you, th- you guys think Kirkland would have done better that's well, a good probably, question probably man I don't think so I think they would have done worse actually because they have some really shitty ones I was oh yeah the like, IPA is yeah, really shitty that would have like been like a two I know I mean, yeah. <laughs> at least it would have been like unique tasting right like a unique mm. shitty tasting beer right it would have been something new or like at least entertaining I wanted to say something too like maybe these have to be really cold because that's why people like to drink them super cold so yeah. they don't taste anything yeah and it's just refreshing because the coldness does mask the flavor yeah that's yeah. the point it masks the flavor and but then at that point might as well be drinking water like zero calorie yeah. seltzer water yeah I agree right? yeah I don't understand. Dude, you're just yeah. trying to get fat with this. You're not having any taste. Like, that's I it, like, dude. This I is like a, that. This is a fat person beer. Legit. Like, fuck, dude. It's, it's fucking, fat sauce. This is why Mexicans are like the most... Is it, uh, no, we're like it's the second just, most obese country. We're like eight, Mexican, seven. Yeah. Dude, Latinos are fucking super obese. We're more obese than you, America. No, USA, I feel no. like Americans already. Dude, right, we're searching this shit. Uh, beer, buds, uh, beer buds are now uh, obese buds. Obese buds. <laughs> you gotta pause real quick. I don't like that you're blaming alcohol for the obesity in our countries. Because <laughs> it's not alcohol's fault. Oh, it's not. It's, it's, our, it's our people's fault. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, <laughs> it's fast food, man. They don't have a lot of fast Processed food in Mexico. Oh, well, yes, they do, man. They just drink a lot of you're soda. You're talking about the pueblitos. They drink a shitload of soda, dude. But That's there's a lot of thing. people in the cities that eat a lot of like fast food. A lot of my family fucking just eats a lot of beans and shit, but the biggest problem is they drink soda for every fucking meal. That's true. Soda, soda, sugar. It's pretty that, bad. They, they drink it so much, and then they drink beer. Like, legitimately. I feel like every Mexican oh. I know drinks beer. Yeah. I mean, you and me drink beer. We're Mexican. <laughs> but we drink good beer. Yeah, we drink good <laughs> well, beer. Well, we consider good beer. We drink good beer. Yeah. Uh, so, highest obesity countries. All right, we're checking it out, you guys. 
I don't even know these countries, dude. Uh, I Nauru. Nauru? I know Nauru because I just w- read Nauru? a YouTube video. It was a country that actually made a lot of its money in the beginning from phosphate deposits made by the uh, the birds, which is called guano. When they poop on the rocks, it starts forming phosphate. It's that shit. Yeah, essentially, like it makes this thing called uh, phosphate. Guano. Yeah, with the guano and shit. And so they would mine it and they sold it out, and they became really rich. Actually, they were one the second most rich country. It's like, uh, where but is then this they over excavated. And they ran out, and they oh, didn't, they didn't do any investments, and so yeah. they just became like one of the poorest countries uh, in the world after. What country was this? It's a very small country. It's the size of like LAX. Whoa! Like Where? the whole like, like a, the the airfield included. Like by Costa Rica. It's an sure? island. It's a small island. Oh, it's an uh, island. Um, near like Australia, I think it was. Oh damn! Yeah, we're not even in the top fifteen. No. No USA? Yeah, no, we're not. What, no. Who's the top guy? That's why people. America Samoa. Whoa, they're our big though. Yeah. What did they eat then? They're at 34.9 Why are they so big? Obesity just... rate was 74.6 Oh shit, USA is not no fucking higher than Mexico What the fuck? Is they that just right. jeans then? Maybe Because Samoans are pretty big Yeah They're thick mm-hmm. like, like Carlos They're thick like Carlos This motherfucker but Wait, Mexico, Ma- Mexico's Ma- after Australia Mexico isn't even in here You what? passed it already, pendejo Oh, Nicaragua's in the holla Oh, there it is. After us, sure. Damn, dude, Nicaragua was. Dude, weird. we've gotten up then. Fucking the USA is at 36% fucking obesity rate. You guys are fat, you Americans. Damn, dude, I, gotta, I guess I gotta move to Nicaragua. Hey, beer buddy, you guys gotta stop being uh, fat, close man. To the bottom. We don't yeah. like fat people here. <laughs> yeah, the beer buds made me go on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I can't, I can't feel fat. <laughs> um, Wait, where were we at, though? That's so Taste? funny that we're in, like, we're still in Cancun. Yeah, we are still in Cancun. We're fucking Mexico, we're still dude. Chilling with with obese style. people. <laughs> we are my fellow Mexicans and Mexican. fucking Japoy Boy and Kayleen in the background. Yeah. And the They're fucking kissing. Is that Disgusting really Japoy Boy? Yeah, that's Japoy Boy. That doesn't look like him. That's yeah. his boat right there. Hey, yeah, don't, you, don't you see? That's Japoy Boy right there. I, can't, I just have to get closer. Yeah, you he, get he just looks a lot no. skinnier in the picture. <laughs> like, Oh, because that's before he... Hung yeah, out with you guys. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, when he was doing this fasting period, you know. I recognize his boat. <laughs> he has his own boat. Yeah, yeah. He called it uh, the Jake. Christine. <laughs> <laughs> the Christine. What the Christine? <laughs> he called it named it after your wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I, I meant to say like Chris, that like Christ, and the uh, E E oh, A. Oh, <laughs> This guy. <laughs> I was like, "What did you yeah. call after your wife?" <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Um, so the taste. We did that. Feel. What do you guys think about the feel? Damn, I'm getting warm in here. I can't turn on the air conditioner, man. Mm-hmm. Fuck. I don't feel hot at all. That's I was time. hot earlier, but now I'm buzzed, so I don't feel anything. Yeah, I just want some chips and guac. I don't like the feel. I'm gonna give this shit a four. Or some dude. Doritos and guacamole. Dude, Doritos and guac. I'm good. So this is pouring. Have you had some Doritos and ceviche? Shit, I don't think so, man. That's a good combination. Yeah. Surprisingly, that sounds okay. good. Because of the cheesiness. Yeah. yeah. I gotta say, the feel from the bottle is way better than if you pour. Obviously, no one ever pours Pacifico or Corona in ever glass cups yeah, or some shit. Yeah. yeah. No. But I'm just seeing a change of taste, and it does actually change the taste. I think it's because it gets aerated by the oxygen or some mm. shit, right? Or like it mixes with the fucking head or something. But the, the feel of the fucking Pacifico in the glass is so... Dis- I don't like it. It's really bad. I would say three. Really but bad. in a bottle, the feels the feels okay. I give it yeah, a five in the bottle, yeah, actually. Me too. I, I don't mind the feel in the bottle. But in the cup, in the glass cup, if you pour it out, that's just like a three or two. But I feel like no one's... I've never no one ever does that shit. Yeah, yeah. Because that's fucking so, can ridiculous. Can Pacifico and it comes in a fucking glass? Yeah. So they always give you just fucking the bottle. Mm-hmm. Not even in a mug. Do they even put? Yeah, yeah. No, I've never seen it. Yeah, I've seen Modelo in a fucking like boot and shit. Yeah, and really? Wow. This place in Downey Brewery. That's like the spot that me and my friends go. Oh, to. Downey Brewery. Downey I know. Company. Yes, yeah, that's it's right spot. across the street from La Barca. La Barca. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been there. But and like... the Reeves Mansion. Oh, oh yes, that's across the big high. The what's that fire? Fire? No, I forgot what the street. Name. Lakewood. That's uh, Paramount. Paramount. Mm. In Firestone. La Vaca. Do they have good pretzels there? 
Where? Because on I've never no tried place it. has a good pretzels besides the restaurant. I wouldn't try the food at Down and Brew. I guess it's just beer. Just beer. I wouldn't yeah. use the restaurant there either. Oh, okay. I've never. They just did plywood. Time. Before it used to be just like your urinal and the toilet. <laughs> when I lived in Downey, plywood in it. and now they actually put plywood. <laughs> I guess that's good. stalls. Yeah. What'd you think? About I used to go the... take a shit at La Barca. Oh, that's how bad. Like it across was. the street. Yeah. <laughs> or funny. norms. Or norms. That's actually. Because cool. guys don't give a shit. Like, hey, fuck it. Oh really? It's I expected more of Downey. Well, that's yeah. what I thought too. Uh, you can go to the Barca. It's a nice one. Nice bathroom. It's because it's a new one. I've one. always wanted to try that place though. La Which Barca? One? No, the Downey. Oh, the Downey Brewery. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have good beers there. I bet. Yeah. They have yeah. Like, nice. Oh, beer. Nice. Oh, I had a. They have it on tap. That's a good beer. Yeah. That's I had. Shit. You know what's crazy? I I went to Olive Garden for date night this week. What with the my fuck? Wife. Yeah. Sometimes we just. Where are you poor? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Boney Bastrada. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Hey dude, OG's fucking good, man. We crave that. We went to Olive Garden for days. So we, we went dude. for the unlimited. We went for the unlimited soup and salad. Oh fuck! Yeah, you know, dude, you know thing. I like, I like Refillable to pasta. Oh, yeah. I let you finish it. I'm just saying, like, I, I also pasta with meat sauces. So that's good. what I get. I that's wanted like, to go back to. Uh, I'm so surprised. To Olive Garden myself, and we tried again because I'm like, oh, I haven't tried Olive Garden in a long time. Fucking it was good, it. but. <laughs> When I got it again, I ordered it, and like I got like a seafood alfredo, alfredo or some shit. Seafood. Oh, seafood But all the foods we got, all the pastas, they're so greasy, dude, nowadays. Like, they're oh, super yeah. greasy. It was, was disgusting. Fried. I hated really? it, yeah. Which one did you go to? The one you're here, it's in uh, the quad in winter. Oh, that one? But if I had to recommend, I actually, um, after the airsoft store, we went to Leo's uncle's place. Um, it has like four and a half stars on Yelp. It's they have like lunch specials. There's spaghetti, like the regular red spaghetti. Uh, yeah. Like the pasta, like I forgot what it was called. It was shrimp. It was like shrimp linguine, whatever. Yeah. And it comes with the red, the marinara sauce, the regular like, tomato sauce. Yeah. His uncle owns a restaurant in like near in Alhambra. Yeah, like just oh, across Alhambra. the street of the airsoft store. It was like ten bucks. That pasta was so fucking good, and they nice. give you bread with it and a salad. It was so oh, good, dude. Really Italian. That was like it was like a true. At least this is how I would imagine or envision a traditional spaghetti, like red spaghetti. Um, oh, okay. For me, from Italy, yeah, it was really good. Go to and get like it was nothing special. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were gonna say and get pizza or spaghetti. I thought he was gonna say coronavirus. <laughs> he did. I, say did. <laughs> <laughs> I was excited. Too. I was like, yeah, we can go to Italy yeah. and get coronavirus. And I was like, oh, I can't. Yeah, it's like a lot of cases. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I haven't been to Olive Garden in a while. But anyways, continue. You were saying so you went to. The oh thing. yeah, so we were at Olive Garden, and then I they I was like, because I saw their beer list, and I was like, what do you have on draft? And they're like, Bud Light, Modelo, Dos Equis, and I'm like, that's it. And then I was like, maybe they'll get one IPA, right? And they're like, nope. And I asked her like, do you guys have any IPA? Do you guys have anything? And then she's like, anything bottled? And they're like, mm, I think we have one IPA. And they go back, and it's a Lagunitas. I'm like, yes, because I haven't had a Lagunitas in yeah. probably like six months or a year. But it was so good, man. Delicious. Dude, it, it makes you think. You know what they have was the Corona, you said, but like Latinos. Like a bunch of fucking poor Latinos got to eat. Yeah, like, but I know. like, dude, I think you would think that they have like, because it's like Montebello, right? And there's oh, Frost, you went to the one by the mall? Yeah, by the oh, mall. Oh, by Bosco. So yeah, by Bosco. Like, oh, that one. That's a yeah. good place. It's it's good. I like the olive garden. I like the man. calamari. Oh, yeah, dude, I had I had calamari's Alfredo. After I had so that greasy bomb. ass shit from Olive Garden that one time. But I'll dude, no, the again. one in Downey, I don't like that Olive Garden, bro. Oh, I stopped going to that one a long time ago. It's really bad. Even the food and the wait is so long, but the food there it doesn't taste the same as like mm. all the other ones. I just rather go to another fucking. Plus, the dishes aren't that even cheap anymore. Like, I got a fucking like, for ten dollars. I got a, I got a, a, a the pasta, a salad, and bread. And I le- at least it's near Leo's place, and I thought it was really good. And then they had they had they said, give you a picture, and they actually have other on draft like shit. They had a uh, Firestone, they had eight oh five on tap, and oh. a picture was sixteen bucks or some shit. Bad. Where like a cup of mug cost you like eight fifty. So. If, if all of you gonna drink beer, you just get a pitcher and it serves up to like five cups. Yeah, <clears throat> five cups. 
fuck he did. <laughs> 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 but yeah. So you guys should go. We should go. If you ever do go to the airsoft store, if you ever want to go, because it's really cool. That shit's huge. It's like a warehouse. Yeah. Um, it's huge. Right across the street. <laughs> right across the street is the entire restaurant. It's, it's in really Alhambra? Good. Yeah, it's in Alhambra. It's What's really this Italian restaurant called? I don't remember. I need to ask Leo. Leo's Dude, uncle's Italian spot. I hit up Alhambra. We go. My favorite Italian spot is. Uh, uh, trios? Charlie Trios? Yes! Dude, that's the jam right there, bro. <laughs> Dude, it's downtown not that one. Alhambra. Yeah, it's super good. Across the street from Jen. Yeah. Like but then they also have a place. I haven't. I've been there once, but it was like over. You guys know your shit. Kid, like I was younger. Oh, dude. You guys know yeah. your fucking shit. All right, let's go to the next one because it's already three twenty-eight. Boy. Are we gonna do fuck. chugging? Fuck, dude. Oh yeah, no. So we need your score for Phil. Oh, for Phil. Uh, for four. Four. four? For Phil. Phil. We should have done Modelo. Fuck, my monkey? tongue feels like like garbage, right? Carbs in it. Yeah. Feels like, fucking garbage. Let's go for a run after. Yeah. Chuggability boys and girls, we're doing the chuggability test here with the beer buds. We got beer buds, Carlos, oh. beer buds, Michael, and beer buds, Daniel for the chuggability test. Damn, dude, it's, 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 it's starting to feel like a flashback to the New Year's episode. We're now in the Cancun. No, don't say that, dude. <laughs> That's not for me. We're in Cancun. Like in, terms, in terms of like how I feel. Enjoying the, like, oh, the like cure to coronavirus. I haven't eaten shit all day, dude. You haven't? So to Bro, get yourself already. cured, as you've noticed, by the way, I have not been coughing. It's because I've been getting cured from drinking the Corona before. Because <laughs> I've been drinking Pacifico. I like how you go into character. Because I haven't gone in like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, where's it going with this? <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> can we just end this episode? <laughs> Let's do a check of blade test. We're starting the song. Everybody knows what Wait, to do. Wait, we're doing Clinkies. Oh, Let's yeah, Clinky clean. first. <laughs> Who's that Clink? Go to the bottle. Oh, Oh my god, I always feel like it's gonna crack god. for some reason. Oh, All right. just let's do it, like baby. <laughs> You got sad. You like missing this Because like, because we all had to leave eventually. I was, yeah. in, I was, I'm in the mood for some karaoke right now. Oh, I'm done. No, K- well, Kaylin and Jeffrey uh, aren't gonna leave, and Neil says he's down to hang out. I'm down to do karaoke, dude. Me okay. too, man. Happy I'm hour. Scared. I'm not down. No, I know you, you guys can go. go. Yeah, because we still could make happy hour for like two hours. It's uh till eight thirty p.m. or nine p.m. That's too late. Man. I want some tacos. Yeah, no, I know we get food and we go to karaoke. Is what I'm saying. Mm, I want to eat my tacos at home. You're a bitch, dude. I hate you so much. It's just a karaoke, <laughs> man. Come on, before you go I on a trip. To, I, I want it to be the whole group. I want everyone to go. Even oh. Christine. Christine doesn't sing. It's fine. I just don't want her to go. Just She's going to sit there. It's fine. <laughs> That's <laughs> what Christine <laughs> always does. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. At the Magic Giants concert, she was just sitting there. Yeah. Anyways, what do you guys think for Check Uh, Seven. 6.5. I was going to be like, yeah. Check a big for Pacifico is way better. You don't feel as bloated. The corona, no, it's corona for sure. You do feel bloated. With I don't know what the fuck is wrong. With, I don't know how people drink that shit. Honestly, Pacifico is a little bit easier to drink for sure. So seven. seven. That's pretty good for check actually. Oh, I'm impressed with but that. I'm still fucking full. Yeah, me too. No, I mean I'm not gonna deny that I'm not, but yeah, it's at least better than before. So moving on to our last beer of the day for this episode, we got is Modelo. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for this one because if I had to choose a beer, oh, I gotta drink totally. that's Mexican. It's either gonna be Modelo or Cerveza del Sol. What the fuck is Cerveza del Sol? <laughs> you know, right? Let me. What is that? Let me show you guys here. Dude, that's some indigenous shit right there. <laughs> that's what we drank when we were in Cancun, buddy. Don't you remember? We're in Cancun. I, I, I ordered, right now. Yeah, we are. In Cancun. I ordered you one too. Oh no, but oh, they didn't bring me sol. one. Oh yeah, they brought you something. They bought me Azteca. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I remember now. And I asked the lady for it. Yeah. All right, so here. Oh, um, that's the other Mexican beer, Tecate. Oh, Tecate. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Tecate. They don't have Tecate them. seems disgusting. I remember tasting it once and I thought it tasted like shit. I don't remember. Dude, I haven't seen it in a I long haven't tasted it in a long time either, but yeah. yeah Whoa, these it. are really cool. Let's do the... the yeah, let's open it. Oh, open it. I'm opening it. Well, I mean, Put I'm it reading it. Oh, you're reading it? Yeah, you gotta read, it? I gotta read them. I gotta read them. I'll open it. And here comes the... Pop. Fucking initial opening of the Modelo. Ceremony, please. Everybody start the music. 
Alright, that is a fucking sure. <laughs> That sounded horrible, dude. Try again. All right, that was oh, a little bit better. Good. Try one more time. I like the little yeah, gold foil they have. Yeah, it actually unique. keeps the, it actually keeps the bottle cap in. Yeah. These two were decent. At yeah, least they weren't bad. The first yeah. one. Yeah. All right. It kind of feels like I'm having that hazelnut chocolate. Yeah. Really. So Modelo, okay. its full yeah. name is Cerveza Negra Modelo. What? Really? No, no, no this is the wrong one. <laughs> no, no, That's no, Modelo no. Negro. <laughs> so yeah, no, I know, but what? Wow, no, what kind just, of beer but are you? <laughs> no, because I'm looking at the history. No, this is Modelo beer. This is Modelo? Oh, this is Circa Modelo Negra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is Modelo Especial. All right. This is Modelo beer. Modelo Especial. Casa Modelo was found in 1925. Casa Modelo. So what? What the fuck? The same year when Modelo Especial was first bottled. So I guess Casa Modelo was like the name of the brewery, mm-hmm. I guess, company. So Casa Modelo was found in 1925. Uh, the same year when Modelo Especial was first bottled. What's Especial? <laughs> Just the name of this beer. Okay. Um, it was Grupo Modelo's second brand after Corona. What? So Grupo. Hold on. So Grupo Modelo owns Corona and Modelo. I guess. Yet they make a shitty version of Modelo and Corona. Because there's some people who just it's like a cult maybe. Maybe. They only drink that shit. Yeah. Modelo's way better than Corona. Yeah, I think so too. It was Grupo Modelo's second brand after Corona and Casa Casa Modelo's most popular beer. It is also referred to as the fastest growing beer in America. The company found inspiration from the treasure techniques. So again, it's going to be like a pilsner, right? Uh, from the treasure techniques of internationally renowned German brewmasters, which led them in creating a model beer in Taku- Tacuba, Mexico. With this inspiration, they were able to come up with, come up with a brewing process and recipe, which produced a cons- consistently crisp and well-balanced beer that they named Modelo Especial, which means special model. Look it up. For the beer to show off its character, the brewery gave it a clear bottle with a unique shape. Then they sealed it with gold. In the present time, it can be bought either in bottles or in cans. So that's um. So yeah, Grupo Modelo is apparently like um. Uh, and they're American known now because they're yeah. from Chicago. It's now Modelo USA. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yes, so what else do we got? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, a beer that not only takes pride in its heritage, but speaks for itself through its distinctive look, authenticity, and well-balanced flavor. For over 90 years, <laughs> Modelo Especial Brewmasters have crafted a perfectly balanced and brewed Pilsner-style lager. Oh. So, yeah, I, I think a lot of fucking... Uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> we're going to get fucking... We're going to get removed on Spotify. <laughs> Because then we're like, we can't be more than five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, so, yeah. Have you, have you heard that song? No. All Mexican oh. style lagers. <laughs> Cafe yeah. oh. All Mexican oh. lagers are modeled after Pilsner style lagers. Yeah, if it, it so, they're blonde lagers. Golden full flavored Pilsner style lager with a clean, yeah. crisp finish. So, oh. Goldens are essentially almost blonde lagers. Because, I mean, we have the fucking. If we have the. No, yeah, dude, we're in Cancun. We can't see it. Yeah, we're we can't. Cancun. <laughs> we're not <laughs> in the sky, Carlos. <laughs> what is behind here? What's behind here? What's behind here? What's behind here? <laughs> but, um. Yeah, no, like, uh, yeah, they're essentially. So, they are inspired by uh, German beers. I think Germans did come up with a lot of the fucking beers. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. We, we had crazy the Pilsner, beers. we had the Bavix, we've had the Kolsch's, even uh, the Stouts was Irish, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, lagers were a big thing for Germans. I think that we're missing some. I know I'm missing a big one that was also from the Germans. And what year was it? This is like 19. 25. Right? That's like World War... But before that, they did it in 1845, I think it was, for German, oh, the Pilsner. Okay. Yeah, the first that's Pilsner crazy. was like 1845 or 1825, it said. Damn. I know, man. That's... It tastes interesting. It doesn't taste like Modelo to me anymore. No? Because we've had, like we've had two the other two. Beers. We've had all the... Three, actually. We've had the shitty ones, you mean? Can't believe we did a fucking Mexican-style, like, lager uh. beer episode. This is going to be a heavy one, boys. It does taste different. It smells decent, actually. I need to yeah, rinse this I, off. I, I, I smell this. I can actually too. smell this a lot more. It smells pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's probably the classier. Of I one, give it a right? six. For smell? Yeah, I can smell this a lot more. Here you go. Oh, yeah. That's Here, interesting. You can grab it if you want to. No, I'd rather you hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I give it a six. 
That's a lot better. I give it a six point five for the smell right Ooh. off the bat. I, 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 wait, maybe even more. That's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about. That. I'll give it a seven. Actually, I think about that every time. Like really leaning into you, it's fine. That's my boy. I like this one. I gave it a seven. You said six, right? Yeah. I give it a six. All right. Cool. 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 <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Doesn't someone else say cool? Cool. 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 Yeah, that's from uh, um, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Mm. All right, taste. I'm gonna do the taste of the bottle. I'm gonna go with the hard taste value. Taste is alright on the bottle. Taste, taste is like a seven for me. It's not special, but it's a nice taste. Taste from the cup it's is smooth. nice. Yeah, it's pretty. Smooth. Even in the glass, it's not nice actually. It reminds me of a craft beer, right? Like it's like it reminds me of the Sublime one actually for me. It's a little bit oh, worse the than the Sublime one. one, but I like the Sublime Mexican style lager. I don't it, remember it, man. You haven't have had it in a while. You I haven't. wasn't there in that episode. But I did we have it in that? I don't episode? think you had a Sublime episode. Actually, we did. Probably. Well, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but we've had it like mm-hmm. a couple times. Modelo reminds even in the glass is not bad. Modelo reminds for Mexican me of, style uh, lager, it's good. I give it a seven. I think Sublime is better, but I know I gave oh, Sublime wait. like a 7.5 or 8. Wow. It's a little bit better. A 7? I don't know what you gave it yet. I'll give it a 7. Yeah. It's like nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like but it's, it's better for sure. It's not Corona. Like it's like... Bleh. Like you just like looking at... Because fucking... even when you like swallow it down, it doesn't feel watered down. No, this one's very just... consistent. Yeah. Right? It's clean. I give it a 7 as well. Yeah. I respect Modelo. I don't respect Corona. <laughs> I cannot. I just cannot, dude. My uncle, uh, he only drinks Coronas, and his name is uh, El Carlos? Rey, El oh. Rey Carlos, El Rey de Mil Coronas. <laughs> what the fuck? So the king of a thousand Coronas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just so you guys know, Rey de Mil Coronas means the king of a thousand Coronas. That's fucking hilarious, dude. <gasps> oh god, that's scary. Oh, they jumped up beer. <laughs> no. Um, so feel. What you guys think about feel? Feels nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't really feel anything. It's because it's very subtle. The elegance. Yeah. It's it's. It has a little bit of an aftertaste, but it's not. It's bad, bad. bland for me. The feel. I'm gonna give it a five. You know what keeps good. popping up into my head is like this is the champagne of the Mexican beers. Yeah, mm. <laughs> at least the ones that you could buy at a store. Yeah, because yeah. it, it has the gold foil, the gold foil and all that shit. Like six, yeah. What you get for feel, baby? We gotta seven, drink it a bit more. I'm not seven. gonna chug all this shit. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> gonna chug it. No, I am. But this is a lot. Don't to be chug. a bitch. You give it a seven. <laughs> We can just sip yeah, get on a it seven, for a little bro. bit. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. We'll, we'll sip on it. We'll talk you know about what? our we'll trip. We'll go somewhere else. We'll talk about it. We'll go to Ireland or some Where shit. Where we going? Where you guys want to go? Take me on a magic carpet ride, Carlos. Well, first we're going to be on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> first we're going to... Wait, we're no longer in the... We can't be on the plane. Hey, boys. Woo! And we're leaving the episode. <laughs> <laughs> We can't be on a plane. I gotta like change it, man. Fuck that. They don't right. even know on there. Fuck. We're know. on a plane, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> in the body. We're Fucking going to Ireland. <laughs> Dude, I gotta go there and like get a new image. And, like, <laughs> you don't need hard. to get a new image. It's already there. You yeah, started... bro, I gotta like, fuck it. And then I gotta go to the next one. I'll like eight of them or ten of them. I'm yeah, no, like, we gotta <laughs> gotta. Yeah, <laughs> that'd so, be hilarious. We gotta have them already set up so we can scene switch it easier. Yeah, because oh, okay. they'd be like. Uh, and put some sticky pads, sticky things on them. Yeah. Like, you know what it is. Oh, that'd be, that'd be good. Hilarious. Yeah, like a little notepad. Or we, yeah, we just write it down here. Like control one is like this and that. Yeah, that's good, dude. Um, a little cheat sheet. Yeah, that'd be great. Cheat sheet. You know what we saw to do? So I mean, the if you guys have been following following yeah. us on the Beerbuds podcast, <laughs> you know um, that we're going uh, Beerbuds abroad. We're gonna be doing Beerbuds abroad. We're going to <laughs> Europe. We're going Beerbuds abroad. Yeah, dude. <laughs> We're gonna be going sounds to. Weird, that's yeah. like, it sounds like a school. It thing. sounds like we're wearing a bra. <laughs> <laughs> we're wearing beer buds bra. We're going to United Kingdom first. We're gonna need one after we the are? trip. Yeah, it's United Kingdom first. No, oh, no, we're not getting off. No, there. I think we should stay in Ireland. It's Ireland first. Yeah, no, but like, <laughs> if we're gonna be in Ireland for St. Patty's. Day. I know, but just to regroup that night and then. Oh yeah, yeah, regroup that night and then the next day we leave. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, but we still we're going to figure to, that shit out right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right after, right, right after. after. Yeah. Literally. So we go because we at least got to figure out our first fucking like what we're doing the fucking first. Yeah, <laughs> the first couple does maybe. Yeah. Um, so we're going to Ireland the first night. Uh, we're gonna be recording episodes. So the first night we're not gonna record an episode because we're just gonna be there to rest jet up. Jet lagged. And, yeah, jet lag and to just rest up and sleep and that's it. Jet lag is fuck. Then right? the following turn, day yeah. is when we're gonna be leaving to either we start to decide on the countries, but I think we have decided that we're gonna go like Belgium and Germany and those two mainly, right? Because the Quad Brewery was in Germany or Belgium. It's in Belgium. Yeah. So we're gonna go to Quad Brewery, which is in Belgium. We are going to go to uh, Germany. Because you cannot go to German. German beer? Like, come on. You cannot go not go to Germany. I forget where that was going to yeah. And then we were considering going to Amsterdam, but I don't think the time allows us to go to Amsterdam and add that oh, in. Um, but, like, the last days we're going to be doing is going to be in Ireland, and we are going to go to Guinness Storehouse. We're hoping mm. to somehow... Mm. Like, record an episode there. We're going to ask if we can do, like, record an episode. I know it's a tour. We have to buy our tickets. I forgot about that. I really want to go to Conor McGregor's whiskey spot. I don't. I fucking hate that guy, dude. Come on, mate. He's an asshole. Come on, mate. No, he's an asshole. He threw a I'll fucking I'll get you on shit. the uppercut, mate. No. <laughs> Why is he Australian? I don't know. <laughs> We're seriously going to be jet lagged. You know what time it is right now? No, what time is it over Almost there? midnight. No way. Dude, we're going to be drinking. Eight hours ahead. In midnight? Oh, we're yeah, gonna, it won't be too bad. We'll that like that because we That's arrive. Pretty, pretty no, because we arrive over there. What time do we arrive? I don't remember. It's we're like we're gonna be dude. fucked when we get there because we're gonna fall asleep on the way over. Can no. you? Can you guys sleep on the airplane? I probably can. won't. I'll try. I'll probably yeah. only an hour now. Yeah, me too. I can, but depending yeah, on what I'm time the arrival. Dead asleep. inside. <laughs> <laughs> but depending on our arrival time into that uh, country. I might not sleep just so I can keep myself away and like adjust oh. myself to the time. So you're not going to take a nap? It depends. Mm. It depends. That's tough. Imagine staying awake the whole time. No, well, I'm going to be standing up because I know they have an area to go to. Car no, wait, wait. I'm going to go stand up a few, like every hour I'm going to stand up and go like straight I out. have to go too. I, yeah. I got to get up on the airplane, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm going to be That's cramping. a long time, yeah. That's oh, yeah, I'm going to yeah. My ass feels weird after a while. Oh, yeah, for sure. And it's important to like cycle your, your Yeah, blood. sitting your down for that long, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be doing beer buds abroad. I know for sure. Masturbate. Have you guys thought about the masturbation plan? No, because it's a whole like week. I didn't need to. I'm just gonna masturbate with Michael in his room. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna turn off the lights. Yeah, yeah. we just right. like. <laughs> I'll get. Technically, I'll grab his <laughs> thing. Just hold no. <laughs> no, it's better. You grab and then I'll hold your hand. Oh, and you hold mine. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos can also do it. <laughs> He's like, wait, you actually thought about this? <laughs> oh, shit. Um, the circle jerk. It's not gay if you're not holding <laughs> yeah, it. I do want to mention, though, the, what, so we're going to be doing posts on Instagram about it. Um, are we going to be releasing episodes while we're out there? I know we can. I'll bring my laptop because I can release an episode, but I can't do, like, live stream. So we're you just going to be doing, we're not going to be doing live stream. We just need to release one episode. Yeah. We're just going to be doing audio recordings of the episodes, and we're going to release an episode while Because we're out there. the day that we release this episode, we're already going to be on a flight. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So we just technically need to have one more episode. Yeah, that's true. Release. No, because we have the following Tuesday, so it's two. Ep- uh, no, you're right. Yeah, just one episode. Well, we have like three episodes like saved up, so that yeah, actually gives us a it. break. Yeah, or we can decide that like we'll give us one week break and then record another one to have it. So now we're ahead of schedule, and that gives us leeway too. Actually, that's good. So we'll have a week break before we do another beer butts episode after we come back. Mm. We'll probably have more than that. Well, we can Depending have more. No, we can't, but we can, that. if we want to be ahead of schedule. Oh, we can just continue our Yeah, mandate. so we'll have a week break, then we come back, yeah. But um, for sure, we are going to do be doing the Guinness Storehouse Brewery, because mm-hmm. I really want to do Guinness. At least that's my personal thing. And then the Quark Brewery. And then I guess you could choose a third one, because for me, it's Guinness. I really want to do Guinness. I just want to take pictures. Okay. Nice. So, but we are going to be releasing, I think, three episodes. Three episodes should be good. At least three episodes. Not, not at least three episodes. At least two episodes... Possibly a third if we could find a brewery that we want to go to or somewhere we want to check out or some yeah. shit. Yeah. We'll see. Depending on the coronavirus. That's yeah. true. That is true. Yeah. But I mean, the Germans are pretty good on that. They yeah. like... Yeah, they just put them in gas chambers, yeah, right? The people yeah. they, the they, they've like... That's true. <laughs> that is oh true. Oh my gosh. I know. You I really just... regret it. <laughs> as soon as you said it, I know. Like, I was... Here's the thing. I was That's also... Okay. I got you covered, bro. I was kind of <laughs> leaning <laughs> <laughs> 
I was kind of leaning. <laughs> no, stop, dude. Don't fucking do it. I, I was kind of leaning towards it, too, when I was like talking about the Germans. We I'm should like, have that as the background next oh, time. Oh, yeah. Just upload it randomly. We're in the middle of it. <laughs> oh. You'll have to go like that. But That's yeah. how we opened the beer? We put a bottle opener? Oh. <laughs> That's a great. Yeah, that'll be great. I, I'm excited for the Euro trip. You know what Christine told me was sending me this. What? I don't know if like you, if if Christine's gonna get in trouble away because what? of this because they were talking about it before Jeffrey's wedding. So what did they were, they, Christine was sending me how like Way was saying Christine that you're not actually excited for a trip. Really? Like, yeah, that like you you're only going because you're like you're about to take and you want to go because the two of us or some shit like that. I'm, and I'm like, excited for the Euro trip. Yeah. Hey, that's a way to Christine or some shit like that. No, I'm fucking being a Matiche right now or some shit. No, no, no. What well, Christine told me. Damn. Damn you but up. no. But no, I was saying Christine, I'm like, no, I don't think so. I'm like, I'm pretty sure Daniel's actually excited because when he gets to go to the Quark Brewery, and I yeah, think he really wants to I go really to that. Yeah. The and I want to go to the Quark Brewery too a lot. And so why is he excited? What? Why is he excited about going? No, oh. Christine was saying that Wei told her he's not excited. Oh, I think Wei is not excited that I'm going without her. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure. I'm not excited. I'll be honest, because I leave Christine. So my wife hasn't been home for like two weeks. She comes back tomorrow. That's where you met Timothy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's where Timothy slides in. Yeah. But she comes back tomorrow, (laughs) and I'm going to be gone the next day. I'm going to be away from her almost for like a full month. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, you're right. So I'm like, I'm excited to go. I'm not going to say that, but I'm like, it's a little like, it's weird. Once you like sleep, I mean... We all know, but once you sleep with someone for like in a bed for like a long time, you're yeah, like, you fuck, I have separation sleep. anxiety you, and shit? No, it's just like, I don't have anxiety, but it's just like, oh, it's a little weird. Like, I, I mm. it's kind of like, it's cool to have someone next to you, like sleeping in the bed, you know? That's yeah. it. Yeah. But I'm excited, dude. No, I'm, I'm excited. excited. Yeah. No, I know. I, I knew you were excited. I'm like, no, I don't. I think like probably she just excited. like missing. T- I was telling Christine. <laughs> oh, coronavirus. Oh my, god. oh my god, she's dying. I need more Botello! <laughs> the vaccine! Throw me the water, Daniel! <laughs> uh, but I was telling her that I think it was just a misinterpretation. Like put effects and it's like, it's like water's coming in. It was a misinterpretation, but I'm pretty sure Daniel's excited because I told I was telling her about like how you really want to go to Quackbury and like I wanna go anywhere. Yeah. I just like being in another country with you guys. Yeah, yeah me too. That, I mean, that is exciting. Having, Boys trip is cool. Yeah. I'm doing stupid shit. That G- may or may not be gay. Yeah. Without worrying about... <laughs> without worrying about... <laughs> without, <laughs> without worrying about the wives or girlfriends would think. Like, that's actually the best part. Because I always feel like... You can't get naked in front of them. You yeah, know? Exactly. <laughs> Like, the bachelor party Because that's was sexual like, harassment. The bachelor party was... I was thinking about it the other day. Like... It was like some boundaries may have been definitely crossed if wives were there. Oh, for sure. Because my like, butthole was shown. Your butthole, <laughs> your dick dicks were shown. shown. Like dick, we all got dick naked. Roots. Like I remember, I was like, I was running, I was doing some random shit the other day, and I was like, I think I might have exposed like part of my dick, maybe multiple times. But here's the thing: the only reason boundaries are crossed when it comes to wives and them because to them that would be like for us, like honestly, like if Christine saw your dick, I'm gonna be honest, I wouldn't give a fuck. But would she give a fuck? Probably Honestly, she wouldn't give a fuck either. She probably laugh. She probably, probably would laugh. She's like, oh my god, damn! <laughs> but you don't know about the other girls and how they would feel about it. Like, I wouldn't want to do that. I know for fu- for a hundred percent, Kayleen wouldn't be uncomfortable with that mm-hmm. if I showed my butthole right in front of her or way for sure. Like, or well, I mean, I think they need like magnifying glasses to see it, right? Yeah. That's true. My butthole. Yeah. No, your balls. I said my butthole. Oh, oh, I heard your balls. That shit could be seen from space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is space. <laughs> but, but, the but, dark abyss. <laughs> but that's my point, right? Like, like yeah, some like it depends who it is. Like I know Christine. Yeah, she she wouldn't care too much. She'd be like, oh my god, and that's it. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. But the point I'm making is like it's better. That we do these things without the wives. Yeah, for sure. And then we're doing boys trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. That's going to be fun. That's man. why I really want one where it's all guys. Because, like, mm-hmm. it's just like the bachelor weekend. We don't care you about what happens. You almost fucking canceled it. I didn't cancel it. You almost did. Oh, yeah. You didn't even... He didn't even want a bachelor party, dude. He was like, fuck that shit. Why am I going to a bachelor party? Blah, 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 blah. Remember? Well, yeah, no, I said I don't want to. And I, no, I said I don't want to plan it either. Fuck that. Dude, and I was yeah. like, we got to go, guys. And they were like, no, I don't want to see titties. 
Oh, oh we didn't even yeah, see Yeah, I didn't want to so. see titties. I mean, if you guys ended up... Fuck it. Look, just because I don't want to see titties, they, this is why they said, like, oh, we didn't do it because you didn't want to do it. I'm like, bullshit, just because I don't want to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys were using mad. me as an excuse. Mad, dude. Yeah, they were using me mad. as a fucking excuse as to why we didn't what? go to a strip club. When David comes, we're going to be like... Oh. Nah. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want to go to sugar because I think it's a waste of money. But it's not my fucking weekend. It's I. That was just my own opinion. It's fucking Jeffrey's weekend. If they decide to plan it and pay for it, then fine. We'll go to yeah. a fucking bachelor. I guess it's okay because we saw your, at least one asshole. Yeah. But, right. like, I, I do think strip clubs are a waste of money. I'm yeah, me too. I don't like strip clubs. Yeah. What? They're, you can go for free. Free entry. Yeah, but then you got to, like, pay to do the rest of the stuff. The dance and shit? That's not too bad. It's like 20 bucks. Sometimes it's like two spend, for one. I'd rather spend one. money on McDonald's than <laughs> titties. Damn, I want to see some titties. Because at least McDonald's is consistent. Oh, That's true. you don't know what you're gonna. You don't know what you're gonna. So get. we're not going to the strip club, guys, in Ireland. Oh I wasn't Belgium. I wasn't planning on it. If you really want to go, we'll go again. Well, like no, say, just check it out. Just like. But I'm know? just saying, like. That I'm just get, throwing it out there that I don't want to really care for it. But if someone okay. wants to go, out, just because just because I don't care for it, doesn't mean I'm gonna be a part of people and be like. That's when people were like using me as an excuse to say that's what we didn't go. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> you <got laughs> mad. Yeah, I was like, you fuck all of you. I was like, like yeah. fuck you. <laughs> Cause I I was like, no, I'm not gonna party poop it. I just don't care for it. That's all I was saying. And then like, all right. Just because I don't care for it doesn't mean I'm not willing to go to somewhere. Like, fuck it. Who cares? Yeah. Hey, I, I did, um, I did, what did I do? Airsoft. Right, I'm ready thing. to fucking chug it. Yeah, exactly. That's the yeah. same thing. Like, you I probably didn't ready. give a fuck for it either. But it was Jeffrey's day. So I was yeah. Like, do it. No, that's what He point. was a champ too because we, we He actually didn't, dude. yeah. He we actually shot. didn't care about it either. Towards the end, he's like, eh. Remember? He was like, whatever about it. I, it was cool. I mean, I don't know if he liked it or not, but like, what I, I, I applaud him for like not saying shit when like, we're like, we're going to shoot you. <laughs> and then he had no gun. And he ran through the thing. But well, ours didn't even hurt. Those bullets didn't hurt. I ours. guess that's true. But he was a champ. He yeah, took he it was. like a champ. He was. I was like, I'm not going to It was cool to hang that. out with Jeff for last night. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was I'm like, saying. This he wasn't gonna chill. go. Yeah, he wasn't gonna go. gonna go. I wasn't yeah. gonna go. No, because you guys have your own group, you know. Oh, so it's kind of weird. Mean, to, no, it's, it's weird not. to answer to someone else's group. I've invited someone else who I know from Greece, Kenny. Like he got into oh, Jeffrey's house. And, like, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we're very like. I we think we're very inviting. With Kenny too. Yeah, I think You're we're inviting. He was supposed to be part of the He was gonna go to our. Yeah, he was gonna go. We're gonna go to Cancun with Kenny. Yeah, dude. But then he couldn't because he had to work. Yeah, and then since Kenny was gonna make it. Carlos was like, no, we shouldn't do it, guys. Yeah, that's yeah. Like, yeah. And, then me and, and then me and Dan were like, what the fuck? I was like, let's you go to fucking Ireland, out. guys. Not even, bro. Like, this guy was like, I told him, like, we've been planning this guy trip for, like, how many years, Carlos? Since Cancun. Yeah, since Cancun. Before but that was Cancun. Like, no, after Cancun, I was like, we should do a boys trip. Where, like, we don't have to worry about the wives and, like, taking care of them. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because it's just like how I yeah. said when we were hiking up the mountain. Like, if you guys get injured, like, if you fall down, we're not no, as worried. Like, it, it sounds fucked up. I'm not down with that shit, though. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like. I'm not like, down with no mountain shit no more. I'm not saying that. I'm just Wait, saying, like. Ireland is full of mountains. Yeah. yeah, but these motherfuckers <laughs> want to go into, like, crazy, like, situations with ice. They weren't glaciers. crazy. And like the one that was crazy, crazy that's why rocks. we returned back. Was the one yeah. if you didn't continue, but oh, yeah. if you continue, oh, no. no, if you continue, that's when it started going crazy. I'm like, okay, yeah, we can't do this because I'm like, this is way <laughs> too, way too steep. I, before Your it wasn't dad crazy. Returned. Yeah, because no, yeah, no, that's why. But um, like I want to voice, yeah, with, you're worried about the girls. It's weird. I don't want to be sexist, but it's a thing. Like you, for some reason, we are more worried. About taking care of the girls. We gotta, I mean, like, they're your girls. So stand up like, for them. Well, them. even yeah. even if it's not my girl, like anybody. Like, like, sure, yeah, like, like, like if a Conor McGregor went up to Christine, she was he was like trying to like, like grapple Connor. her and shit. Like you would have to stand up to him. Yeah, right? yeah. So if she, if you remove all that shit, then it's just us. And yeah, like, like, and shit. yeah, like, <laughs> it's exactly. All good. Yeah. yeah. So you avoid situations about yeah, a guy yeah. hitting yeah. on your girl or anything. Like you avoid situations about like, oh, we don't want to do that. Or like that's it. Because yeah. the boys will always be like, fuck, fuck it. it. <laughs> <laughs> like, the bachelor party was, like, a little glimpse of that. Like, nobody said shit. Yeah. Right? And, shit. and if you didn't want to do shit, like Eric, like, yeah. he, just, he just hid in his room. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. But it then was, since he hid in his room, 
That's why he got the fucking Goku toy in the fucking pool. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. That yeah. was so fucked up. <laughs> Repercussions are real. Yeah. <laughs> the cool thing is he didn't like get mad. Like, at least I was thinking it, this. Because he's just cool, you know? Yeah. Cool. yeah. He knew what he was getting himself into. All right. Let's finish up the episode. We're doing a chuckle big test for Modelo. It's already been a long episode. This has been a really long one, actually. It's almost two hours. Yeah. So we're going to do Modelo chuckle big test. Everybody get your shit ready. Get Are your drink ready. We're going to clink. Let's go. So control three. <laughs> that, that was you, dude. <laughs> oh, I didn't get on this. I was just worried I thought I got oh, on this. That's okay. it. I don't give a fuck there. All right. So let's go, girls, boys and girls. Girls. It's the midpoint between Pacifico and... Because that's what I was thinking about right now. I'm like, Go okay, chugability is fine. Okay. But I think I felt a little bit more full drink chugging this mm-hmm. than I did but with But it wasn't Pacifico. too bad, though. Yeah. No. It had, like, a nice, like... Um, I like the fuzziness, too. Yeah. <gasps> like, the nice blanket mm-hmm. feel on your tongue. So, I'm going to avoid the fullness, because I don't think uh, some people who would drink this kind of beer would care about the fullness about, a, about like, the Mexican-style lagers. But... I will say this, that this did give me a little... It's less than Corona. It got it felt a little bit less bloaty than Corona, but it was more than Pacifico. However, chuggability was easy. I liked how it felt when I was chugging it. I'm going to ignore the fatty feeling just because I don't think most people care about that. Yeah. I'm going to give this an 8 for chuggability. Personally. Michael or Daniel, what do you guys think for chuggability, baby? I gave an 8, too. You gave it an 8? Yeah. Fuck. I think it's. I, I think, think it's, it's good. I'm ignoring the the bloatiness. Eight and a half. It. Eight and a half. Okay. Because I had a like nice aftertaste. Of, like, yeah. Like, I was yeah. just ignoring the like the bloatiness of it all because like I just don't I, I don't think um I should use that as I guess a measurement or whatnot. But yeah. <clears throat> so I know actually most of these average scores because for the most part all of them are pretty similar scoring. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I mean by that is like they have like we either gave it like a five or four, <clears throat> so it ended up being an easy um, way score. Did uh, I say? Did I decide that we are rounding only to one decimal point though, or two? It's one decimal. It's always, point. It's always been one. Okay, so then. Yeah. Okay, so perfect. So then we're gonna do that. But yeah, dude, I'm excited for the Ireland trip because like I was talking to one of my close friends that I've known since the fifth grade. And we've always tried to coordinate a fucking like group, like a guy's trip, but it's, no, it's fucking like, impossible, dude, because yeah. there's so many of them. And it's like, oh, I don't have the money. Oh, yeah, I, don't have the time I, I always think people oh, make but, fucking excuses. And I'm just like, fuck, dude. So the fact that three of us are able to go, I'm just like, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Let's fucking do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Do I think it, people man. just make fucking dope. excuses, dude. Yeah. I think they can't do it. It's just they, they just they just like back out of it a lot of times. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be a fucking blast. Dude. It's gonna be dope, man. Like I'm not looking forward to the flight, but after that, I am because I'm gonna get fucked up at the uh, flight too, man. It's gonna be dope. And even before the flight, and before the flight, we're yeah. gonna go to the airport bar. I'm gonna get fucked up at the, the, in the flight before. I mean the before the flight, dude. Oh, for sure, dude. I'm gonna get like probably you know, like, watch, like all Jameson. these movies and. <gasps> yes, dude. I dude. I already have a list of movies I want to watch too. I hope they have the new Star Wars because I haven't seen it yet. Oh man! They probably will. They probably would. Yeah. It's not a good movie, dude. I know it's not, but it's fucking. I need to watch it. Kylo Ren. Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. The fucking, fucking Star Wars movies, dude. You were the chosen one. You were supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. You know what that is? Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh yeah, with Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember all of that actually. There you go. Anyways, I'm gonna pee real quick, guys. Yeah, yeah go, go for it, man. I mean, right now we're just averaging out the scores. If you're listening on the podcast, I already got most of them already sorted out. I'm just doing the overall scoring, and the overall scoring sometimes takes time. Um, but I I wouldn't say this is our worst beer episode. It's not because we've had. Oof, I feel like the sour was the worst one. We've had horrible tasting fucking beer. At least with me and you, it's been the sour one. Because the sour was like... 
fucking like oh that fucking chug ability always yeah like, like, it was fucking shit dude two three or whatever the fuck which is something we need to work on and then and i have an idea too like so we usually have a beer periodic table yeah what we should do is like if we get to each style eventually we put like our beer of choice for that style yeah i agree because that's actually pretty good that'd be pretty fucking dope so just my uh two cents yeah because um i'm trying to think yeah but then that's the weird part about using a green screen because we're using a green screen right now well we're using it right now yeah um like being able maybe we just take a picture and we somehow crop it in the middle as well so we do double so we'll have that in the background as well Mm. you get what i'm saying so we'll have this in there but we'll also have the background of it but I think it's good to have to like, uh, it's good to have uh, just like the regular background like we always do. Yeah, I agree. So. Like this is chill. And it, it was fun. Cool. It was, yeah. yeah, it was fun. It that's served a, its purpose. Yeah, it was fun. That, that's <clears throat> about it. All right, so I got all the scores essentially uh, ironed out. Um, I just got to do the overall score on the, the Pacifico. Um, and then which one I wonder else? who's the winner for tonight. I, I don't wonder. I know. Do you know for a fact who the winner is for tonight? So the person that I, well, the beer that I said it was going to win? Did you say it was going to win? I don't know. I didn't look at the scores. I guess I'll find out when you tell the scores. But yeah. I, I, but yeah, dude, I'm like really looking forward to the Europe trip. Like before, like I was a little bit nervous, but like now that we kicked it, I feel better again. What do you mean now that we kicked it? Like, I don't know, because like, we're all in the same mindset. Like It's not like, oh. Because cause when we kicked it on Saturday, last Saturday, Beer Buds Danny was like, oh, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous about the whole oh, thing. Oh, was he saying that? Yeah. I don't remember was, that. Yeah, I was talking to him. He's like, oh, I don't know, guys. Like, I'm kind of nervous about the whole thing. I'm just really? Because like, oh. of the whole corona yeah, shit? Yeah, because of the whole corona shit. And which makes sense, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's it, it, I, I get it. Like You shouldn't also like diminish it. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like... Yeah, we are younger. We are younger. We have a better yeah. immune system. The people who have died we have also been fucking. Our hands too. Yeah. The people who have died. I don't know about Carlos, but I wash my bitch, hands. Bitch, I wash my hands. <laughs> the people who have died have been like um, like older older people. people. I mean, yeah, because like that's one thing too is like when I went for my annual checkup, the doctor was like, he's like, you know, the only reason that the news is making it as big as it is is because this is the first time we've ever seen the coronavirus. Oh. So yeah. we don't really know where to put it. And I just added and those. He's, and he's like, "What's the, a mutation of flu? It's like H1N1 when that yeah. mutated." So he's like, "He's like the flu is like fucking people died like two thousand people die every fucking mm-hmm. year from the flu." I was telling Daniel about that shit yeah. too. So it's like you shouldn't be worried about. It. Yeah. He's um, like, "And I recommend you getting the flu shot." And I was like, "Go oh, fuck yourself! I'm not gonna get it." And I left. <laughs> yeah. Um, His just, wife's from Ireland. Oh really? Yeah. And I just that is just that. Um, like the whole, I, the other thing is like news will over exaggerate, over exaggerate so they could get more views. Yeah, for sure. That's news changed a lot in history. That's one thing I was thinking about is just eliminating news from my life. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah at least TV you, news, like, it's so yeah. fucking bad, dude. Where do you get? Your you gotta have from? to have rep- reputable. Oh really? No, nah, dude. You gotta have reputable news sources. Well, that'll tell you like you know don't yeah. panic and shit like. Like I just listen to Joe Rogan. For me, it's Philip DeFranco. <laughs> like For me series. now, it's um, the Daily Show. Oh, oh Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah. Yeah. Trevor Noah's hilarious. I like Philip yeah. DeFranco because he will. He says like, look, don't panic. You know, yeah, it's serious, but also just be cautious. Don't over like. And you know what's crazy that people are buying fucking. They were going to stores and my buying mom, like water bottles. My mom, and like, she went, she's gone to Costco the past two days and all the water is gone. That's what Jeffrey told me today. He was like, dude, if you're going to go to Costco, like, be careful because there's so many people right now. Like, they're buying out all the toilet paper and the water. I'm like, why? And I'm like, is there something I don't know? And then he's like, because it can't be related. I was like, in my head, they're like, just they can't over, be related to They're the fucking stupid people, dude. That's what that is. I'm like, what happens? Like, even if it does go, like, I still have tap water, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. But no, like, the only reason to do that is if for some reason it mutates again and it's like a zombie fucking, like, it's the co- apocalypse. Like, we're wrong. And then all of a sudden it mutates even further. That's where it's like, okay, it's serious. Because now it mutates even further. And now the contagion is like airborne and all this shit. So now it's a way more serious thing. But at the moment, it's just people are fucking. What makes me excited about the Ireland trip is like, 
it's gonna make it monumental and almost like unique because we're going to fucking Ireland when the coronavirus. Is <laughs> oh yeah, that is kind of cool, right? Yeah, yeah it's like it's it's St. Patty's Day where yeah. everyone's gonna be like touching <laughs> 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 everybody. <laughs> it's gonna be empty and shit. <laughs> where the only ones like yeah, USA. No, dude, they're gonna be touching each other during St. Patty's Day. Like, oh yeah, let me yeah. kiss you, and then dude. fucking it's gonna be fucking some disgusting. ginger girls. Because oh, Ireland dude. people take it crazy, I'm dude. So excited. <laughs> Alright. So let's read out the scores. Cause we gotta finish up this episode. We gotta plan our fucking trip. It's already four o'clock. Um sure, two hours still talk, guys. Yeah. Uh so for the corona we got an average score of a four point three. That was rounded. Everything's rounded up or down depending on, on where it's at. Uh the taste of a four point seven for Corona, a feel of four point seven, checkability out of five with an overall score, putting the corona at a four point seven. So that technically is lower than the Beer Advocate score, which gave it a 54? 58, 56, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, so this would be a 47, if you would translate mm-hmm. it, right? Pacifico, average score for smell was a 4.3. Taste was a 3.9. Feel was a 4.7. Checkability at a 6.9. Overall, it was a score of 5 because you, uh, mm. you averaged Round it up. Yeah, score. round it up. It's actual score was a 4.95, but we don't do that shit here. <laughs> we uh, don't do that shit here. Yeah. Modelo, we got an average smell score of a 6.3, a taste of 7, a feel of 6, and a checkability of an 8.2. Overall score is a 6.9. So Modelo's the winner of the night? Yeah. Wow. Yeah! It, that, I don't think that's a surprise, at least for some people who probably tried this before. I, I wasn't surprised either because I knew I didn't like Pacifico. I, didn't, I wasn't sure about Corona. I haven't really had a Corona in a long time, but... As yeah, I thought, Corona was man. like, uh, as I thought, Corona was fucking bad. Our loser day, I think, is ends up being the Corona because <laughs> Pacifico so had a five and I Corona had a four point seven. Wow. wow! So Corona was our loser. Sense, That's crazy, Vin Diesel, man. I know. <laughs> Familia. <laughs> that's that. That's how they got their cells. I would have thought it was Pacifico. No, Pacifico was higher. No, Pacifico oh. was better because it was a little bit like. Yeah, cleaner. I like Pacifico better too. Yeah, it had the less fattiness. The chuggability mm-hmm. was a little bit better actually. Even the taste was a little bit better, I believe. No, no, I didn't like the taste. The taste was worse for me. <laughs> the taste was worse. Um, but yeah. <laughs> It's been a long oh, time. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to fuck. I'm going to fuck up my Paul Walker. I you, I look back. Kobe Bryant. I see you again. Curse is weirded out. <laughs> I don't, I don't give a fuck about celebrities. We come a long I don't know way from where we <laughs> get. Whenever you see this shit on Instagram, I'm like, man, I don't know. Y'all don't give a fuck about you, dude. Fuck celebrities. Watch us become celebrities. When we die, everybody's like, oh, beer boys. <laughs> All right. So we're closing out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alright, it's been the Beer Buzz <laughs> Season 2, Episode 5 Where we reviewed instead of the Kirkland beers Because Kirkland no longer They deactivated the Kirkland beers Deactivated beer. That's what the fuck they told me <laughs> Out of Like a robot right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? So apparently they realized their beers were <laughs> shitty So they deactivated uh, So we decided to do the Coronavirus beers <laughs> So Corona, special. Pacifica, <laughs> Modelo Uh and obviously, our loser of the day was the Corona. Winner of the day was the uh, Modelo. Wow, Middle good. ground was the Pacifico. Which makes sense. And that's why yeah. you got to use the vaccination, which is, if you have the coronavirus, drink Pacifico or Modelos. There you go, you guys. Or some quack. Or some quack. Oh, or just so just yeah. get some good beer, honestly. Like, fuck everything. Like, what the fuck? Drink, drink like quack. We drink like fucking Montage, Bottle Logic. Fucking Russian River <gasps> Bruins. We should have had Dos Equis. Oh. But I don't know if that's Mexican. Stay, yeah, Mexican. stay thirsty, my French. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, again, it's been the Beer Bros Season 2, Episode 5. We're going to be coming back to you in the next episode. Uh, Internationally. It's going to be international. Uh, check out our Instagram. We're going to be posting pictures. Probably, we'll probably be You need to make a Beer Buds Michael Instagram page before you oh, go. Okay. Oh, so yeah. check out Beer Buds Instagram. Uh, Michael, do you have access to... Uh, is there a way I can give you access? Oh, check out the Beer Buds 
Instagram page as well or app or whatever. We'll also be posting on our story too. Yeah, oh, we'll yeah. post on our story. Across Check us out um, on beerbudsdaniel.com. Do you have that yet? Uh, yeah, beerbudsdaniel.com. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you guys have made it. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> but check out all the beer buds. Uh, we're going to be posting. Well, once we leave that episode, we're going to be posting. Uh, I got beerbudsmichael.uk. <laughs> <laughs> On the, on the official Instagram, the Beer Buds page, we're going to be posting every individual Beer Buds uh, Instagram page because yeah. you, you got to make one. You got to make one, one guys. Um, All you got to make a Beer Buds. Check out our social media. Please follow us. Subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe. Follow us on Spotify or any podcast platform, wherever you listen to us. Follow us. It really helps us out. We it's also awesome. have a Patreon. Too. We do have a Patreon. Do we have a Patreon? We do. I set up a Patreon. We also got merch too. Uh, so if you want to send have us shirts. an email, if you I you're don't interested. have my shirt on today. It was dirty. What? Beer Buds. Daniel never puts on his shirt for some reason. I always wait till I'm gonna do beer buds. It's because he's gonna wear it when he does a marathon. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but we do have shirts. If you want to buy a shirt, just send us a direct email uh, at thebeerbuds at gmail.com. No, it's not at the beer buds. It's well, no, it's just like the beer buds beer buds at gmail.com. At gmail.com. Um, and we'll give you the price listing for that. We do have a website for that too. We've posted that before. It's a on the Instagram. website. Yeah. yeah. But if you want to know directly where it's at, you can also check out just our Buzzsprout website. If you go to the, if you search up the Beer Buds, you'll find it. Oh, 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 so it's the it. Beer Buds with the Z dot Buzzsprout dot com. Yeah. Um, what else are we missing? That's um, pretty much it. That's it. Yeah. So thank you for listening. It's been the Beer Buds or watching. Oh, also, too, oh. if you're checking us out on Apple Podcasts, give us a five star rating. That helps us raise. Oh, I didn't know. That about helps that. us oh, does that? go up in the charts. Yeah. I don't know oh. what people say in podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if it's real or not. Yeah. Yeah. We've been up on comments yeah. on the Apple one. And we got we got an up on listeners too on like whatever fucking platform they listen to. It's awesome. Uh-huh. We've got getting average. Like I mean, you showed it to us too, and I like that it was like thirty four listeners, which is cool. Whoa. So if we keep going up, that's awesome. Great. We appreciate. We'll have like an event. If you guys ever want to come out and drink with us, dude, we should do an event. But we That'd don't have enough listeners cool. yet. I think. We'll just post up. At I think. Like a I think once we hit a hundred listeners, we should yeah, do we should do an event. If we hit a hundred yeah. listeners, a hundred followers, whatever the fuck, well, yeah, we'll do we'll it. Do it. We'll do a po- We'll post up somewhere. I'm pretty sure progress will let us. They have ah, so yeah, much space. So, yeah. Or the other beer um, yeah, one. But yeah, it's been the Beer Buds Season 2, Episode 5. Thank you for listening. It's Beer Buds Carlos. Beer Buds Michael. Beer Buds Daniel. Who's doing the noise? Oh, I forgot about the noise. I don't know. Till I see you again. Let's go on the plane, though. Let's go back. Uh, Michael's a pedophile. <laughs>